that how you talk to yourself? You talk to yourself? <coughs> I talk to myself on a mirror. I'm talking to my friends. What? I'm talking to my friends. I'm this close to going to get cowgirl boots and changing my entire identity, so. New me, who's this? These are just too cute. They're like glass blown pumpkins, and I'm just like obsessed. favorites and these are super cheap and easy to make at home and all you oh, I was about to say the camera battery died and I had to change it out really quickly but oh, like I said Sunday we just got back from church I didn't have any time to get ready with y'all this morning you'd be so proud of me that I put a little bit of blush on I really like this outfit. I'm loving the braids. You know, it's just one of them days. I'm like, okay, you might be cute today, girl. Besides, my skin is acting a little funny. But besides that, anyways, happy Sunday. We're about to not really do a lot today. I'm going to go downstairs and make some brunch. The kids just ate cereal on the way to church. Y'all know we go to the 8 a.m. It was a little bit early, like real early this morning. I did want to share with you guys my service notes because they were really good and y'all know I've been having like mental breakdowns about parenting in the last couple of vlogs and the series that we're starting at church is all about parenting and I just feel like it was so helpful so insightful but I'm gonna go back because the notes was moving fast I need to refill in some pieces so we're gonna talk about that later it's a good series to tune into if you don't have like a church home or somewhere you go my church streams live at 10 a.m their service or you can watch it back later after that or whatever but i'll have it linked in my description box just in case anybody's interested we are about to change clothes carter's about to get his hair done i'm about to tidy up a little bit but today i'm really relaxing yesterday i stayed up late working so today is just like a chill day i just kind of want to cook hang around the house i want to try this new breakfast recipe hack thing though that i saw on tiktok just to see if like the kids would like that as like breakfast in the morning sorry i keep messing with my hair i'm just it's like, should I flip it this way, this way? And then it begin in my face, so I'm trying to keep it tucked away. Anyways, I'm about to change out my clothes and then wash my face off. Then, yeah, we'll get into it from there. So, basically, it's these little uncrustable breakfast sandwiches that I want to try and make. You have to, like, scramble some eggs, sausage. I need to look at the TikTok anyway, so let me show you. I be sending myself TikToks. Dad will tell you about how many friends I got. <sighs> Oh, here it goes. Today we're making some breakfast Uncrustables, one of my kids' favorites, and these are super cheap and easy to make at home. And all you need to make them is six eggs, some of the cheap white bread, a pound of sausage, and some shredded cheddar. To start things off, we're just going to get our skillet over medium heat and throw in that pound of sausage and let that brown up while we grab another pan and throw in some butter and scramble up six eggs. Once those are cooked, we're just going to drain the grease off that sausage and add that into our eggs with a cup of cheddar and stir it all together. Then we'll just lay out a couple pieces of that bread and use our Uncrustable cutter to get rid of that crust just like Richie did before we add in our filling. Eat your crust, Richie. Each one of those sandwiches is going to get about a third cup of that filling. And if you don't have an Uncrustable maker, you could also do the same thing using a cookie cutter and a fork to crimp around the edges. This makes enough filling for about 15 sandwiches and these freeze really well for those crazy busy morning things. Anyways, we're going to attempt to do that. But I'm not going to make as much as he did. I'm just going to make a little bit because I know the kids will be like, oh, I don't like it. So I'm just going to try to make like a few for today, like as brunch lunch for them and then see if it works. If it does, then we'll like meal prep some and put them in the freezer, like he said, and then we'll have them on go. So we need eggs, cheese, sausage. Let's see if we can do this. I literally don't even have any bread. So we're gonna improvise and just make breakfast sliders on Hawaiian rolls instead and then try that, I guess, another day. But I swear I had bread. I didn't order bread purposely because I was like, oh, I have bread. I'm basically just gonna do the same thing, but not make it uncrustable. I'm just gonna like put it in between the Hawaiian roll and make like a slider. Government administer aid, so I guess we just pray like the minister say. 
Till I do hot bar Throwing some hot cars Things we seen on the screen It's not all that these niggas okay. I'm gonna put a side of fruit with this to give each one of them a little sandwich. Taste it out and see the I don't have high hopes. They're literally so good. I'm trying to get you know, like this. I want to taste it by hand because the sausage is pork. I'm like, I don't want to taste it. Actually, it's sausage and scrambled eggs. Okay, we're just finished eating. I'm about to clean up really quickly and then I'll probably just come back and chat with y'all later. I'm not gonna vlog or just talk a lot today because I actually need to learn how to relax. I try to see when it was my birthday and I got it right. You did? Good job. I set the password to their iPads as their birthday so they have to practice their birthdays. Okay, thank you. But yeah, I just wanted to hang out with y'all today. I'm just, we'll start the whole agenda, what we're getting into, all of that stuff tomorrow. I am going to cook tonight, so I'm going to come back and get y'all when I cook. But I'm just about to sit down. I'm about to go outside and look at the backyard and the concrete and all that stuff. Which I'll take y'all out there really quick. I need to focus on one thing at a time first. Let me clean up. They're not done with the concrete. They're supposed to finish tomorrow. Every day they tell me tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. But they want the money now. I'm not going to pay you half. I already made you half. Why am I giving you the money? You haven't finished the job. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay. I have my confrontational mother on it. So she was like, don't even worry about it. I was like, say less. I won't. The only person who did not eat their food is Carmelo. And I have a little bit of eggs left. I don't know what I want to do with them. If I should save it, but it's like this much left. It's not enough to make enough for all of them but i guess i could just make a little bit more in the morning my mom's gonna come over here in a little bit so while she's here i'm gonna probably just run to aldi really fast instead of doing an instacart order to just pick up some eggs and some bread so I have that for the week good morning Let's talk. We need to talk. I know we're always talking, but we need to have a serious conversation. And it just so happens that it's going to be in the bathroom. I have just come to a realization that I keep on trying to get on this schedule. And I feel like I've been in this rut for the past year. So for the time being, I'm done sticking to schedules lightly. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I be so hard on myself all the time about just like, Boop, 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 because I think that's what's gonna make me the best version of me. But I'm not living. I'm not living. I am waking up every day trying to do the same thing, trying to think a little ways to switch it up. But I am so, I'm so over it. I'm so over it. It's not even funny. I don't know why I picked this up because I'm about to shower, but I just feel like I need to be doing something at the same time. Anyways, y'all. We're going outside. We're getting outside. We're taking the kids out. We're going to libraries. We're going to the zoo. We're going to the aquarium. We're we're just we're just getting out. I feel like I don't ever get out because one, I get anxiety, and then taking the kids out. Oh. That's a whole other story. But I'm like, all the things that I want to do when I leave the house, I want to do with my kids. You know what I'm saying? I be seeing different sides of stay-at-home mom on TikTok, and it's like the ones that get out and the ones that don't. And I'm like, oh, me? <laughs> anxiety? And I got more than one kid? But no. We're gonna get out the house. We're gonna get out. We're gonna go here, 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 there. We're gonna try to keep a schedule. If we get nap time in the car while we're driving, get nap time. I just, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I just wanna get out, live life, stress less. And I just think I have to be in like a schedule and a routine to such a strict T because that's what makes a good mom. But I'm gonna be a good mom regardless, right? You know what I'm saying? And as long as the kids are still getting into bed by the time they need to and like well rested and all those things that really do matter and affect their day and their behavior and stuff like that, then it's fine. I just want to come on here and tell y'all that. So happy Monday. Welcome to the first day of living freely, okay? Not in the bounds of a schedule. When something comes up and I need to get to it, I'll get to it. But for now, I'm in vacation mode. I'm not interested in doing anything at all besides simply being and doing what I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> 
So today, first that starts with a shower. And then, I don't know, because you know, I'm like always cleaning up. I'm always trying to do something, but it's like inevitable that the house is gonna get back dirty eventually because everybody's gonna use everything. We're gonna cook in the kitchen. It's always gonna be something. So we're gonna worry about it later. Right now though, we just walked Carter to school. So I'll give y'all an update on that too. Well, I think I kind of did in the last vlog. The other school said he had to cut his hair. His dad said he ain't cutting his hair. And I said, it's hair. So we're kind of like, well, it's more him. He's more, we're not cutting his hair. And I'm like, I don't want to cut his hair, but also I'd rather him go to that school. You feel me? But it's just kindergarten. So we are gonna see how the year goes. He can always go to the private school next year. So for right now, we're staying where we're at. We thugging it out. We walking him across the street to school for now so I don't have to do the carpool line. The first day it rains, we'll figure out what we're gonna do about the carpool line. We'll probably just go to school late. I'm not gonna cap to you. They not gonna have me in shackles stressed out about this line. I'm not about to do it. So, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. I definitely gotta come home and then take a shower. Cause like taking a shower and then walking him and then coming out. See, and then that just messes up what I already had going on my whole morning plans. So I might as well wake up, start getting a workout in in the morning, you feel me? Early in the morning. I gotta show you in the backyard too. Oh my gosh, we have so many things, but also a lot to do. Cause the countdown to Carson's birthday starts now. So we gotta, uh, let me in the shower. Then we'll talk about it while I'm getting ready. <laughs> The dry cough ain't so dry anymore. I always be coming out here without a rope and then I be like, I need a rope. BRB. Watermelon sugar. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. All right, let's get ready and let's talk about Carson's birthday party that we're about to get into. Plan well, we already planned it, but we have to reschedule it because I didn't realize, I think I told y'all, it's getting darker earlier. So I had to reach out to the two vendors, the food vendor and then Spider-Man to see if we could reschedule them. So I'm waiting on both of them to contact me back or I'm gonna be blowing up their phone today. Um, so basically we can move the party from four to seven, but we also just, I wanna get like the outdoor part of the house finished. So we're gonna be working on that a lot this week and then doing like kind of like practice decorations, if that makes sense. Because I just want it to like, I don't care if it's perfect, but I'm just like, okay, let's make sure everything is what everything's supposed to be. That's what I'm gonna be doing this week. I already washed my face in the shower. My face is doing much better. I kind of like was, I be scratching up my face. My new picking is like, gotta stop it. But I've been doing better and my skin is doing a lot better. Um, my esthetician was telling me to use my high frequency wand. She was like, girl, why do you have it? And you don't be using it and da da da. It's gonna really help. To me, I feel like if I use it one time and it doesn't, she was like, just use it two times. And I did use it like the last two nights and my skin does look a lot better so i'm still using the caudalie vino perfect serum however i'm gonna give it a couple more days because i still been getting like little breakouts on my chin but then when i stopped using this at night and i just use like hyaluronic acid to moisturize my face i've been trying to keep it just very simple like very very simple so i think i'm just gonna do this as my vitamin c serum and i'm literally just gonna put my sunscreen on but i think my sunscreen is downstairs because I don't remember why, but I think I took it down there, so I'm just put it on in a minute. Oh. Deodorant. I'm still not really, I don't know what, what it is, but I just have not been feeling the dove either. I don't know what deodorant I'm about to get, but it's like, I want to smell like nothing under my armpits. Granted, I am out of glycolic acid, so I haven't been using the glycolic acid underneath my armpits. And I think that gives us an excuse. Lush opened up some new locations, and I've been seeing all the girlies at Lush over the weekend. And I was like, I really want to go to Lush. And everybody said their stuff be smelling real good. So I'm like, oh, let's go to Lush. Which is an excuse to go to the mall, which is an excuse to go to Sephora, which is an excuse to also probably go to Ulta at some point in time this week. So... <laughs> I just really want to look. I'm not necessarily like, oh, I have to get something, but when's the last time you just went window shopping and you just strolled and you saw the new stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I go, I don't have the expectation of, oh, I have to get something. I'm just gonna go and just see what the vibes are. You know what I'm saying? But I've been wanting to go to Lush for a while. I just don't ever stop in there whenever I'm at the mall, but also, 
I haven't been to the mall in a long time. Because every time I go to the mall, then I go to Neiman. I'm like, girl, you don't need to go to Neiman. Ain't nothing in Neiman. Except I had a pair of heels that I really, 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 really liked. And I cannot find them anywhere. And I cannot find my Iran sandals. And that is really pissing me off. It's like the only pair of heels that I'll wear to church or just anywhere. They were perfect. They were a nude, neutral color. So they go with everything. They had the little pointed toe. They were just chef's kiss. Ooh, I've been doing this a lot lately. Who can't lay their baby hairs? Do you see the little swoosh you do? Okay, I'm done playing with y'all. I'm just about to do my eyebrows and then stick them upwards. I started getting a little pimple under my eyebrow and I'm like, is this making my eyebrows break out? I don't like that. I'm also about to start using a brow serum. This girl, she said she used Babe Lash. So I think I'm gonna get Babe Lash because I'm out of my Grande eyelash serum as well. I just need to re-up on a whole bunch of products. But before I do anything, I'm gonna get my bathroom organized and really declutter. I go through this all the time. But again, it's because I never let go of everything. I just am like, oh, you might need this. And granted, I do be sometimes pulling old stuff out and I'd be like, let me give this another try. But I just need to organize it somewhere that's like not right here in my main bathroom area I'm gonna like put it in my closet or something and organize it somewhere else there's one content creator I cannot remember her name for the life of me but she does live in Dallas she just had a baby she's so sweet so cute I love her little she does like mostly short form content I think but they're so cute but she had this little place in her house and she calls it her CVS or her Walgreens where she keeps all her stuff and I want to do something like that, but I don't have the storage for it yet, kind of. Anyways, we, we got a lot of stuff to do in this house. This closet is going to become my bathtub. Then we're going to move the closet into the actual closet, into the attic. It's just going to be a lot gross. So we'll get there eventually. I'm going to throw my little lotion on really fast. And then I just, my biggest problem, I don't want to get dressed. And I said today I wasn't going to do anything. So I might just do that. I might just do nothing. At least for the next couple of hours. Because yesterday was supposed to be my relaxed day, but everybody was over at my house. Like my mom was here, my brother was here, Aaron's mom was here, Carter was getting his hair done. Like the house was full, so I didn't feel like I could just like sit down. So me and my mom ended up rearranging all the furniture outside on the patio and cleaning everything off. So basically the people that I found, I think I told y'all through my mom, she texted me and was like, don't come back to my daughter's house and we'll find somebody else to finish it because I'll show y'all. It's not horrible, but it's just like, it doesn't look like new concrete. It looks like about 10, 20 years worth of concrete. And I can tell at some point it's gonna have to get redone. Child, we not even gonna get into it. We're just grateful that we have it at this point and that the space is usable and we can make it homey and be able to just be out there. I think it's just what I'm happy about at this point, but it is gonna take a lot of work now on our part because she jumped the gun a little bit and was like, oh, but they didn't finish filling up the side yard with sand. They didn't take the dirt out of the yard. And then the stepping stones that they were supposed to finish, they, we still didn't have those. So I'm like, mom. But anyways, we're gonna figure it out. I'll take y'all out there at some point today. I really don't know. I told y'all no schedule, no da 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 da. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have to stick to a little bit of something. I'm gonna look over my calendar today and just like see what I have to do. Cause I'm thinking about just making maybe like Mondays my, okay, you sit down and you get to work. You know, I still got stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? So I can't just neglect all my responsibilities. But anyways, we're going to figure it out. I'm just not stressing. I'm just, whew, I've been being really hard on myself lately. I think that's what it is. Like, I've just been being so hard on myself about, you didn't do this. You didn't wake up at that time. You didn't do da, da, da. What? That's all you're making. I got to get dressed. We will figure out what the plan is. Oh, I didn't do my hair. I didn't do my hair. This is my new style for forever and ever. In infinity and beyond. I think next time though, which y'all are gonna like probably scream at me for, but I think I'm gonna leave out a little bit more baby hair next time. We're just gonna see like how much ends up coming out of these braids right here before I make a final decision about it. Like for next time, because I already booked my next like braid appointment. Y'all know the braiders, they be booked, okay? Booked and busy. So I went ahead and booked again for a month out and I'm just gonna keep this hairstyle. I want to try glueless wigs maybe at some point this winter or fall but the only person ooh, the only person who I really have seen 
that I really, really like their glueless wig work is in Houston. Oh my gosh, the 50 Cent concert is this Friday, you guys. I'm literally so excited. My friend, she finishes her last day of nursing school on Friday, and so we're gonna celebrate by going to the 50 Cent concert. I'm literally so excited. And then, I don't know. I'm just telling y'all my thoughts. Don't hold me to this, but we're thinking about going to see Beyonce. But we're gonna go see her in Houston because I feel like that's where she's from. I feel like she's just gonna do her best shit in Houston, like the best shebang. It's like one of the last places she's going. I think she's going to Houston and then New Orleans. I think she is coming to Dallas, but I don't know. So we gonna see about going to Beyonce. I really didn't care to go, really, but my friend wants to go and Aaron's brother wants to go and I was like, it do be looking lit. I have been seeing the girls at the Beyonce concert and it does look like looks cool you know what I'm saying I also want to go see Drake Moneybag Yo is also about to be here I'm in my concert bag okay <laughs> I really do like Moneybag Yo and I think he's on tour with Sexy Red and I'm like oh yeah ski <laughs> but then also I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see can I just be honest with y'all I could just be honest right we we talk about everything so you know what I just basically have been really conflicted about going to concerts because it's almost like i've been in a different just space and spirit lately my playlist has kind of started to change i kind of just been in been listening to gospel music a lot lately and i'm not even somebody who just listens to a lot of music i never have been i, I know people think that's super weird but i will sit in silence in the car sometimes i'll turn the music on if i have i know i'm gonna be driving around all day but like i will sit in silence in the car or i'll turn on a podcast before i listen to music so i just am having such a hard time and people who can relate to like being on a spiritual journey can kind of say it's like okay once you start to see things from a different perspective and you're trying not to be so worldly it's like do you listen to secular music is it okay if you listen to secular music and everybody has their different opinions on it so i feel like it's honestly whatever conclusion you come to but that's just something i'm navigating right now i like listening to all types of music you get what i'm saying i don't want to be feeding myself you know negative things and i think that is definitely true like i think just like lyrics and song especially if you're somebody who believes in like manifestation which i don't know if i would really call it that i don't really go that route i just feel like more so like i pray i don't really say like manifest or anything like that but if you're like repeating song lyrics over and over and over again and they happen to have a negative you know me i just you know it's just like dude i don't want that on me you know what i'm saying which this might all sound crazy but i'm just letting y'all know what's going on in my head but i also want to go to concerts and i want to have fun you know what i'm saying so it's just like and i know like my intentions about things are not bad like and i'm not somebody also i think it depends on what kind of person you are because like i'm not somebody who's like easily influenced by music and if you think people are not influenced by music you're so wrong and if you know what i'm talking about then girl we here but people are really easily influenced by music i feel like especially younger generations like they live vicariously through a lot of artists these days but it'd be kids who don't fit the genre of the music you know what i'm saying like you have young kids from the burbs and all they listen to is yb and lil durk and they think they're tough hard then they go out and model what they see that they think is popular or cool and that they look up to so i think that's when it's a problem but i never had that problem before so and then I'd be like, are you just making excuses as to why you should do something that you shouldn't be? We're on a journey though. It's 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 gonna ebb and flow and and it just, you know, it is. It is what it is. I actually need to do that today too, because I didn't have a chance to relook over the notes from church yesterday and they were so good and I really want to share them with you guys. Maybe I'll just drop the um link i'm still gonna go back and look over the notes because it was just like a really good message for me in general especially with parenting and all of that kind of stuff but i'll drop the link if you want to listen to it because they pre-save sermons now i did my hair i've been doing really good about maintaining my hair and like sleeping with the in braids and stuff so shout out to me anyways <laughs> i'm really starting to feel these braids like at first i really wasn't feeling them but now i'm just like oh mm -hmm. okay officially brb until later and we figure out what the hell we gonna do okay y'all know i had to come do my little time with god so i finished praying and then i was reading back over 
the notes and so I found them and I was like okay I'm just gonna share just like briefly if you want to listen to the whole thing I think it is super helpful and insightful especially if you're like parenting and you parenting is it's, it's hard it's ghetto so I was really excited about this series so it basically just has a couple of different like sections to it and the first one is about how our behavior is more impactful on our kids than our advice and I think like something that a lot of us grew up with just like or even we tell our kids like do as I say not as I do but our behavior is what influences our kids the most and not our advice so like I'll try to like pop it up on screen too but or I'll put a link your parents behavior not their advice is what help you determine if you wanted to be like them or not and then it's like influence later is determined by behavior now and mostly just focused on ages from like 3 to 12 is when we can really pour into them and instill them with moral values and then after that as they get older then it's more so they go from like one kind of thinking to another kind of thinking it's all psychology and anyways i'm not great at explaining it but i want to briefly just share it here because i felt it to be insightful but yeah so behavior breeds respect which breeds influence and then it has your core ethics and values of Jesus and then they basically just talked about how a lot of times everything that all of our reactions to what our kids do is just like out of selfishness which sounds not great but it's just like we're all human so it kind of just is what it is whether the kid's behavior is good or bad if your kid is really good at sports we love that more for ourselves because of how it reflects on us but then we also do the same thing in the opposite way we'll try to harshly discipline them if they act out in front of other people or are disappointed if they don't basically live up to what our expectation is and so then he also just talked about how we have to support our kids and what they want to do and not necessarily what we want them to do I'm just giving y'all like brief, but it was really good. And then basically it gave a cycle of parents who maintain strong relationship with their kids and it had the five things and it was like they had fewer rules. They were not afraid of their kids rejection. They discovered their kids interests and talents and they facilitated them. So again, allowing your kid to be who they want to be and not forcing them to be whatever you expected them to be. And then prioritizing relationship over experience. I have to go back and listen to that one a little bit more and then all of them had healthy marriages as well so it also just stems from top of the household trickling on down parents who are working towards a healthy relationship with their kids we have to have like a vision for our kids so what does that look like educationally for our kids what does that look like financially spiritually and relationally and then these are like the four factors that also key things so it's like how our behavior affects them and what we can model for them is relational success emotional intelligence personal security and then their home life and then also we just talked about like how a defying moment is better than a teachable moment and also he just talked about you know disciplining your kids which came next one of the things before so it was like inspire motivate your kids don't push and shame them and then a when should you discipline which i felt like is a good one because i feel like it's honestly we're always trying to reroute our kids so i feel like a lot of just parents in general we're on like no 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 stop 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 you know what i'm saying so i've been working on that myself as well just like trying to redirect instead of disciplining or making consequences that don't match the actions you know what i'm saying so if the boys are fighting i'll be like okay let's find another activity to do or oh you do this or you do that instead of no tv not you know what i'm saying like that kind of thing but anyways they said when you should discipline to build honoring behavior in your home so you should discipline in three instances when they're dishonest disrespectful or disobedient which is feel i feel like it's a very thin line because if i told you not to do it and you did it anyways that's really disobedient you know what i'm saying but it's like they do that all day and then also it was all reverted back to like specific verses in the bible so one of them was the love is patient love is kind verse and how we need to like, use that in modeling our parenting and then also about learning to apologize to your kids saying that you're sorry for things that you do or and then also just being like more attentive and more engaged with even the small conversations they want to tell you about their dream or their day and it might seem like what he stressed i think it was even in the notes was just basically stop treating your kids like an inconvenience even if you're in the middle of doing something stopping and giving them your full attention because they are the priority not every other thing 
that we're trying to do i'm definitely working on that and it's hard and i know it's a process it depends on like your personality type and stuff so some for me it's something that i'm working on just being like more enthusiastic and engaging when my kids are talking to me about things that you know they be you know when they, you know the memes and stuff when kids are like oh mom let me show you a trick and then they do some random thing but to them it's a big deal and so just like really just being there like hype man and really being encouraging of them and all that kind of stuff so yeah and then the verse of the day that i read on the bible app for god is working in you giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him and so I think I've shared before but basically I'll just like write out what the verse meant to me and then I'll go through the prompts and have my little prayer time and all of that so yeah I'm thinking about y'all let me know if y'all be interested I always be having ideas but we'll see if this comes to fruition but I mean I know it sounds like a very ridiculous time but I was thinking maybe I'll try to go on live when I wake up in the morning and I won't necessarily maybe be talking but it'll be like a space where we're all like accountable to each other if that makes sense like getting up at 5 a.m to just do whatever you want but then you also have the support of having other people around you you know what I'm saying like FaceTime vibe sometimes I don't always like doing things by myself but having just like the presence of someone else whether they're there physically or not will help me get through the day which is why a lot of us like watch YouTube or watch podcasts or like watch TV like just have something in the background like while we're getting done whatever we're doing but i was thinking about yeah like i think it would help me be accountable to waking up at five o'clock even though i said like oh this morning i just want to be more free also being more free during the daytime to do the things that i want to do i need to be up getting the things that i have to do out of the way first so i'm trying to just like get back to doing that so i could knock out all of the mandatory things at work early in the morning to just kind of like free up my time to just be free and flexible throughout the day. I don't want to be up at 5 a.m. by myself though. If I get on this live, I'm gonna need somebody else to be up on there with me at 5 a.m. Do you feel me? Put you up on my little nightstand, okay? I'll be doing my Bible time. I might start doing workouts in the morning. It really just depends or really just getting worked on. I mean, every day could really look different um, just depending on what I have to do. That's why I said like, I don't want to tie myself to a strict, this is what you're gonna do. Because it's really just like, I just ebb and flow with the day. I got to learn to be more flexible and stop trying to be so in control of my schedule and every little detail and then being disappointed when it doesn't work out like that. So anyways, we're pretty much done. My kids are the reason I've been washing my sheets every day, every week. So shout out to them for peeing in my bed and forcing me <laughs> to change the sheets. Because I probably wouldn't have done it this week to wash the sheets, but literally like clockwork last monday morning and this monday morning somebody had an accident in our bed so we are gonna wash the sheets i'll be feeling like if they're gonna keep coming in the bed we need a california king because baby we can't all fit in this bed and i'm like Ugh. and then carson likes to sleep under the cover so he'll come get in my bed like last night both of the boys ended up in our bed so carter will lay on the edge and then carson will crawl under the covers at the end of the bed because he likes to have his whole head under the covers I don't know child so yeah I pretty much did everything that I wanted to do today so what does the day hold we don't know I'm gonna make up my bed wash my sheets I do need to wash my car and then we can go outside and just kind of like I can show y'all like what my ideas or thoughts are I just was trying to do a little bit of online shopping last night for stuff out, like patio furniture and stuff outdoors but then also it's hard to shop for that kind of stuff because online be the better stuff but in person you really get the vision and you get to see you know see it but anyways it's only 10 oh it's gonna be 10 30 so we're probably gonna eat lunch here in a little bit i'm taking a nap today so if today is just a chill day it's fine like we're not i'm not we're easing into this whole new era thing but i really told myself today like i was really just gonna take it easy and relax and like not do too much so i will wash my sheets so hopefully they can be done before it's time for me to get back in my bed or i'm gonna be taking a nap on the couch because i do want to take a nap today i'm telling y'all that day i took a nap was the most elite day of my life i I'm about to be a napper <laughs> so long as i'm waking up and still being productive i'm not just gonna be lazy sleeping all day but let's take the sheets off of the bed dang even the comforter i need to get a backup sheet set sheet i know i told y'all we wasn't getting any fall decorations but be so serious 
be so serious be so serious i was having a mental breakdown last week i think i think last week was just a rough week and while i am still trying to stick to a budget and be financially responsible we need a couple more things we need a couple more things okay i'm just gonna tell y'all right now we need a couple more things but then I, I also need to get i think i'm gonna get like a backup shot of sheets too so then like when this kind of thing happens i can still have fresh sheets to put on my bed because right now all i got is some some white ones side right here is basically going to be dedicated to the kids and then maybe if I put some workout stuff back here then you know I'll like whatever we might do a little bit of that but I'm thinking about just doing just I, I, I will show you guys an inspo that I got from TikTok or maybe just kind of like what I'm thinking but yeah this is probably going to be like the kids area over here and then if I hop out in the grass closer oh it's not even but closer to like right here by the edge this is where like the little stock tank pool is gonna go and then we're gonna get some patio like lounge chairs right here i can't see anything because it's so sunny okay and then right here imagine i want to do like a little small outdoor kitchen or bar island thing that comes out to like here have the grill here some type of like storage or something right there and then i'm probably just gonna get two small little chairs right here under the covering and then this space will kind of just be open we'll have the two chairs right there like a little walkway out and then we move the patio set over here which i think looks nice especially if you take the cover off the fire pit it looks really good so this space we're pretty much going to leave it how it is and then there's this little space right here where i think i want to put a long rectangular dining table because I still want to have some type of like outdoor dining and seating and so I think it would just fit really cute right here I'm probably gonna scoop these chairs up just a little bit and like push that a little bit forward but I wanted to get a little table I saw this one on Target it's like a picnic table it's cute but I don't know anyways it's being in a house but having a small ass fence for me so yeah those are the current thoughts um, I don't know when all of that's gonna get done or finished. I know I'm gonna get a couple more furniture pieces before his birthday just because we need extra seating out here for his party, which is in a couple weeks or two weeks away, which I actually need to call and text the vendors because nobody's reached out to me and it's it's 11 o'clock, so. Um, yeah, I wanna have like somebody build the outdoor bar, but I wanna do it in like an inexpensive type of way. So I'm just gonna try to find like a local carpenter and do it out of probably wood materials and then if we want to buy marble slab or you know granite countertop um we can get not used but i saw this girl on tiktok the other day talking about it and she was like it's just like the scraps from leftover of what people have cut for their homes you can buy for a lot cheaper so i'm gonna start looking into that i don't know how soon we'll get that done but anyways i just want to show y'all the next thing we got to do though is get a taller fence because baby this fence there's no privacy. I mean, you can just see everybody. I don't want to see nobody. I want 10 foot fits around this bit. Yo, feel oh, and then, okay. I know this sounds so extra, but they're actually not that expensive. I want to do like a little outdoor shower right here, but I want to do it without like having to like do the actual plumbing. So I was going to get like a dual hose attachment thing, but I think it'd be nice for the kids to be able to just rinse off before they come in the house. Oh, and then in the yard over here, I think we're going to do like a play set. I still want to dig that trampoline into the ground, but I, listen, I need a reliable construction crew. All right, it's lunchtime slash nap time. The kids already ate, but I'm making myself some nuggets. Carmelo had fell asleep on the couch earlier, so I had just been laying on him. I put him on my chest and we snuggled for like 30 minutes and then he woke back up so he's eating his lunch now, but we're just about to lay back down. We're watching a Halloween movie, Halloween Town. I just love, I don't care. The old classic, not scary, not scary, but like Halloween movies on Disney. 
I love it. So we're gonna watch that, chill out. Hopefully I get to take a nap. The air fryer is a little loud, my bad, but I'm making some chicken nugget bites. But anyways, y'all, that's the agenda for today. I got done everything I could get done, and so I'm just chilling. Cheers to naps. Cheers to naps. But waking up, and I have to go wake up Carmelo and Carson. And I think they have clothes on. I'm pretty sure they do. I think I just have to put Melo's pants back on. And then we literally have to hop in the car and go get Carter. And walk two blocks to pick him up. That's not the fun part. In 105 degree weather. I'm not complaining. I'm just grateful. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I got a son that I got to pick up and I got a stroller I can use to carry my baby to walk. And it's going to be alright. But I know they're going to be crying when they wake up. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take them down one at a time. I'm going to start the car. Take them down one at a time and just put them in the car. But have their cups ready so they can have some... Um, Juice in the car. I really didn't think I was gonna take a nap today because for some reason I just I wasn't falling asleep at first. But then I was like, just close your eyes and try to force yourself. So I only slept for about 30 minutes, but 30 minutes of eyes closed and just like downtime is better than nothing. So apple juice for Carson, drink for Mello. I got to tinkle really fast. I was thinking about trying to hop in the car line because technically you're not supposed to line up for the car line until I think 15 minutes before dismissal. But it's like, is it better to try to go through the car line and see actually how long it takes? Or to not, I can always get out. I, Carter, I just don't want him to be like, girl, he'd be on me. He'd be like, mom, everybody else in class got out. When you walk, they call their numbers first and they don't call your kid to get out of class until you get far enough in the line where they scan your code, which means you have to be in the parking lot. Should we just try it? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go get them up. I gotta pee really fast and then we'll be back and figure out what we're gonna do. All right, we made it through the car line. Took us an hour to get through the line. 30 minutes of waiting in a spot and then 30 minutes after dismissal. So, not too sad about that, but you know what? We made it home, so that's what's important. Kids are on CH energy. Carter said he was gonna dig a hole in the backyard. I said, all right. Well, I told him I wanted a hole for the trampoline. He was like, oh, all right. Anyways, after school snack is always oodles and noodles. I thought he was gonna get tired of noodles, but no. Still going strong. Forgot to run the dishwasher last night and it stinks real bad. But let me give y'all an update. So. I told y'all about the concrete, right? I think I told y'all, my mom told them, like, just forget about it, don't come back, we'll finish it. But then the people next door, like they have been right along the fence line doing construction, I guess they left a lot of stuff out there. So the person who owns the land next door was like, is this your shit? Get it out my yard. I was like, oh. <laughs> Say less. Don't worry about it. So I called my mom and they came and got all of the pavers for the walkway and none of the trash. So I was like, we're not going to get into it. I'm just going to give you guys a little updates here and there, but we're going to stay positive. I told my mom, yeah, we're going to have some weekend projects on our hands because this is good. But yeah, I'm going to go outside and chill and play with the boys after the noodles come out the microwave and probably set up their little painting thing because we got like when we, Carter comes home from school there's like an hour gap in between like starting the whole dinner process um and then I want to start practicing throwing the football with him just because 
you got to practice more than just when you go to practice. They go to practice two days out of the week, but they say if you practice at something for 18 minutes out of the day for a whole year, you will be 95% ahead of everybody else in the world. That's just a TikTok audio I heard, so that was like, oh. We've been like practicing throwing the football and stuff, but he doesn't really like to do it. So I'm trying not to force him to do it, but also it's like a hard, okay, because y'all know I was talking about the parenting thing this week and it's like not forcing him. I don't necessarily care about the kids playing sports. Like I'm not super hard on them about that. I think it's harder for kids to transition from playing sports into regular life after all they do is play sports their whole life and then think they're going to go to the league and then don't go to the league. Like I think that's really hard on boys in general. And so I don't necessarily care, but he does want to play sports. Like he says he wants to play football. And I've told him multiple times, like, if you don't want to play, that's fine, but we're not going to go to practice. And every time he's like, oh, I want to go to practice. So I'm like, okay, cool. But if we're going to do something, we're going to be good at it. We're not going to be mediocre at it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to push him too hard. But also, I don't want him to, to slack, you know what I'm saying? And just do the bare minimum and show up to practice and kind of lollygag around. Then he's sit, but you know, we, we, listen, there's a gnat in here. I'm going to try. It's because these dishes. You, know, you leave the house with dishes for one day. And tsk, tsk, tsk. But anyway, we're going to worry about cleaning up the kitchen and stuff later today. Once we make a mess in it, cooking dinner. I don't know what we're going to cook tonight. Because I was going to cook enchiladas last night. I did not cook, if y'all couldn't tell. I think I talked to y'all for all, what a three moment yesterday i already checked carter's homework folder and he doesn't have anything to turn back in except for i need to send money for picture day which is on friday i didn't pick my meals this week so i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna like this this what is this long green peppers can't eat that because that's pork Coconut curry chicken. Ooh, I do want to try that. It only takes 25 minutes to cook. I've been wanting to try like curry and then I have, well, I did have some non bread. My brother came over here and pretty much ate it all and left me three pieces. So shout out to him. This takes, ooh, this takes longer actually. I guess it's cause you have to boil the noodles. I think we're gonna make the curry coconut chicken. The noodles are done. I'm just gonna take them outside so he can eat the noodles outside, which is why I really wanna get a dining outdoor dining table because how cute would it be? We come home from school, we have snacks. You know, I get into my Betty Crocker mommy era and then we eat outside on the little tent. I'm telling y'all. It goes the waterworks. It's like, why can they not play and get along? I know this is like universally, mostly everybody's kids thing, but I just, I don't understand. Carter's gonna see me taking a bite of his noodles and this. Cut it out. They'd be no when they'd be being bad. I got them a little that little golf set from Target and they're playing with it. <laughs> My bug just flew into Carter's head. Okay, let me go out there. But they start trying to beat each other with these golf poles or clubs. I wanna actually put them in actual golfing. Fun fact about me, I was in golfing camp from age six to like ten. I used to be a good golfer. They were like, you could go per I had a good swing. I'm sure they were hyping me up because I was young, but Oh my kids to be well diverse. So I think I'm gonna probably try to sign them up. Well, golfing camps are usually during the summer, but I'll have to ask my mom and see. I'm about to put them in swim lessons. I want them to do golf. I'm gonna sign them up for karate. And then they already play football two days out of the week. So we're about to have a jam back schedule. But I think it'll be nice like that, honestly. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. The bowl's still hot, but let's go outside. It's been a good day. Except I haven't drinking enough water, but besides that. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm gonna play nicely. Hey, look! Hey, look! We were trying to dig because you may make out a hole. We need a bigger shovel. Yeah. But where do we get a bigger shovel for? Is that a good one? Where are bigger shovels? <laughs> Like a storm. This is what public school is. <laughs> he said, he said, I said, what does that mean? He said, that means, hi, nephew. Nephew, listen. He said, there's something, he said, what's wrong with mom? There's something on her butt. Now I'm self conscious. Did I walk around with something on my butt? I wish there was like a lens 
in my eyes so you guys could see what I see sometimes. <laughs> I need like a double tripod. Ooh, I might have cracked the code. I'm about to look and see if they have those or an adapter piece. If I could have one camera facing me and then the other one facing the other way as like a different point of view. Oh, maybe it would be lit. Okay, I'm gonna go outside and play with the boys. The time really flew by. Take the kids outside. Take them outside. We threw the football. Uh, I was gonna have Carson come in and cook with me, but they're playing outside in the water, so I'm just gonna let them play, and I'm just gonna cook up. This dinner is supposed to be real quick. Small bot, bot, pot. I swear I'm not illiterate. I don't talk. Maybe I do talk like this in real life. I don't know. It just be, I be sounding so. But 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 like, can I speak? Can I speak? Okay. We're gonna make rice. We're gonna make the chicken. Tricky thing about this stove though is that you kinda gotta do one thing at a time if you want it to boil. So I'm gonna do the rice first and bring it to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer and put it over there. And then it says white rice cooks, wash your produce. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and Get her done. It's so hot outside. Let's go. You know my ex cause he validate me. You know what check, I don't wanna really see. I ain't get possessed, let my spirit speak freely. Hey, my past can't escape me. Why pussy precedes me? Why my all the time change? I'm still playing the victim and you still playing the pick me. It's so embarrassing. All of the things. happy Tuesday um I got ready already this morning we did our little morning routine I filmed a little shorts about smelling good and I smell real good right now so check it out it's probably up before you see this vlog like probably way before you see this vlog while I'm talking about it sitting here I was filming but I definitely forgot to do my legs so let me hit my legs while I'm talking to y'all today is Tuesday y'all know we're going with the flow these days so I woke up this morning did all you know the morning things got Carter off to school um and then it's the disrespect every time i start but then let me see who this is with the direction because who does that be it's probably the guy with mother one <laughs> yeah yeah it is he's here every tuesday okay well, we're about to leave i have two meetings today at 12 and 12 30 so i'm hoping to get those done around one so i can still take my today but it's 9 30 and we need to go who is this lady why is there a lady right here what the hell is she doing sorry i just got distracted the two guys here to mow the lawn but then there's like some random lady in my front yard and i'm pretty sure she didn't get at them and she's just touching my car okay i gotta go outside anyways we're gonna leave we're gonna go to aldi's really fast because i need to get bread eggs and milk and then the car wash is over there too so we're gonna go clean out the car come home, lunch, meetings, nap. And then I wanna try to get a little bit of organizing done today. Or if not, I'll just start tomorrow. But I wanna to try to organize one room a week, not a day. Why is she just me on the back of my car? I'm so confused. Like, I'm not mad, but I just don't genuinely understand. Like, if she is not mowing the lawn, then what is she doing? Cause she didn't ring the doorbell. So it like, looks like she was with them, but if she's not doing the lawn, then she would just wait in the car. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's go outside and see what this lady doing.
best days. I didn't get a nap. I probably look like I just woke up from a nap, but I didn't take a nap today. So that's why it's not like, you know, if I don't nap, then it feels like, why did you not do anything productive? But anyways, it's cool. It is actually time to wake the kids up for nap time, but they, the gag is they only went down a little while ago. That's why I didn't get to take a nap today. Like Judah was just fighting his nap. He didn't really want to take a nap. So I snuggled up next to him real close. Out of his back because usually he's exhausted around nap time so it's just like change the diaper he ate lunch put him in the bed give him a little bit of milk and he goes to sleep and they know carson and him are in the same room so then they was just waking each other up so i finally went in there put them down but it's time to wake right back up so i'm actually tired now <laughs> that's the guy i'm tired now but it's a tuesday which means it's football practice day which means I'll kind of have some quiet hours later in the evening, which I feel like if I was going to not be productive today, then I could have just edited some content because that's what I needed to do. But I'm having a coat because like I said, I'm tired, but I got to wake them up in like 15 minutes to go pick up Carter. And then I found this new way to walk to school. And until I get caught, <laughs> which I'm sure I will, it's giving me pull out the laws and show me the laws. I can pu park on a public street and I can walk on it. You just don't want me to, but that's that I don't, I don't care. I'm a grown woman and I will not conform to the patriarchy. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that is really grinding my gears. I'm not, first of all, putting my two toddlers in the car and waiting for over an hour to pick up my son. <laughs> Some other mom actually gave me the idea. Well, she's not a mom, but. We all be the, the walkers now. We be chatting it up because we be the first ones there waiting for our kids. We get our kids, we go. But anyway, she was like, I'm gonna start parking over there in that empty lot and walking across the grass. And I was like, tease. And then I saw this older lady and she parked even closer yesterday and then walked and picked up her kid. But then when I tried to do it this morning, the grass swamp guard was like, no, go to the line. I was like, but I'm not. So then I passed the empty lot and I was like, oh, T, I'm gonna park right here then walk Carter across the street and the lady was so I could tell she was just so mad because she couldn't figure out where I was coming from because you couldn't see where my car was parked and to like how I walked to the school unless I was just like walked from I don't know she couldn't figure it out so she was like it's like this little road you have to she was like it's like the cro a crosswalk that's like literally this big and when you walk from one way you don't get on the crosswalk to go up there but she was like you need to get on the crosswalk and I was like okay smile you know, we're not going to be having the bad vibes this morning. So I said bye to Carter. I gave him a kiss, whatever. And then just me by myself. So I walked up the normal way when I'm walking and then I crossed the street and she was like, no, nah. but it's not a street. It, I wish y'all could see this. You could understand. But then another lady walked right behind me, did the exact same thing. And she didn't say anything to her. And I said, oh, see what we're not going to do is that. And I said, I thought we had to use a crosswalk. And she looked at me and she was like, eh. I said, yeah, I'm not the only person who needs to use a crosswalk. I can't stand when people single me out or pick on me. And I know it's just like, I feel like it's just triggering to people of color in general because the, per the other person was not a person of color. So don't tell me that I need to walk on the crosswalk and then smile at this lady who's not walking on the crosswalk and not say anything to her. That's going to jam my block right there. You're really pissing me off. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, I continued walking though. Okay. What would Jesus do? And I went back to my car and I'm going to continue to walk from right there until I'm sure somebody just a Karen not minding their business is going to come check on me one day and see where I was where I'm parking at and then be like eh, you can't park there but you can't give me a ticket because it's technically public street there's no red don't park here fire hydrants none of that so don't I don't want to hear nothing about it that's where I'm going to park and I'm going to walk across the street because why would I cross two main roads with my three kids two of them i have to hold their hands and with the stroke no the only tricky part about today is that i got this little y'all seen it if you've seen the, the vlog where i got the little quick stroller it's like a little walmart stroller if you know you know you know, before the upper baby this does that's what our moms used to put us in it's like an umbrella stroller but anyways i got one of those so i'm be interested to see how it ride across the grass today with judah but then i thought about carrying him in i still have my baby carrier but I'm like, that boy probably way too big for me to be carrying in that carrier. I think you're supposed to be able to use it up to like 36 months. But honestly, like he can wear four T's. 
that child is huge. I'm not, I don't think I can carry it. Maybe if it was on my back, but it's like to the front. So I was like, anyways, I'm gonna try to push him across the grass and that we gonna see how well it goes, but it is safer than walking on like the sidewalks next to the main streets to cross over. So I think it should be fine. Um, we're gonna see how long I can get away with it, but that's what I will be doing. I tried the carpool line, okay? I did my civil duties and I respected what they said about crossing at where they wanted me to cross for these last, what's it been, two weeks of school? I'm done. <laughs> and then it's killing me because the other school is like right across the street and I'm watching them just have this peaceful, quick, swift car line situation every morning and every afternoon. And it's like, you wish that was you, huh? You wish that was you, I'm like, yes, Lord, yes. Because what am I do when it rains? I'm gonna have my umbrella. I'm still walking. They're not gonna get me in that car line. I was thinking the other day, I was like, I'm taking this way too far, but I'm just like, the news needs to report on this. Somebody needs to fix this. Why is it 45 minutes to an hour, to an hour and a half? If I was any further back in the line yesterday, I couldn't even imagine. It'd probably been like an hour and a half to two hours to pick up your kid from school. Why is this not national news? Somebody needs to do something about this because it just doesn't make sense in my brain how like, yes, okay, I have the flexibility to do so because I stay home, stay at home mom, work, work from home mom, whatever you want to call me, right? But could I imagine working my regular job and maybe if I was lucky enough to work a job that let me leave to go pick up my kids, that it was gonna take that long? Just the entire system is fucked. Why do our kids go to school at these specific times but then they make jobs, like standardized jobs, work from nine to five or work 12 hours? It just makes it impossible. It makes it impossible. And a lot of us these days, we don't have grandmothers that we used to have and the support system because grandma's gotta still work or they ain't married so they just, you know, it's, it's just the whole dynamic, like fix it, fix it now, please. This why some people, I'm, I'm, Aaron is like, you're being so dramatic, you wanna homeschool and switch in school because you know it's in the carpool line. I'm like, bruh, fight me about it. This is a bullshit, this is a bullshit, this is a bullshit. <laughs> Excuse my mouth. I've been doing good about cursing. I really haven't been cursing as much lately, as much as I normally do. I haven't talked to y'all since earlier. We went to Aldi's. We got bread, eggs, milk. Back in the car. I had to go buy FedEx and print some stuff out really fast for the shipping label because I returned all the stuff from Carson's room back last week when I had my mental breakdown, which I still stand by. I did not like that bed or the dresser. So it's packed up in my garage. I gotta slap the labels. Well, it's not packed up, but I'm not doing it. So. It's in a garage, but I printed out the labels so they can get packed up and then <laughs> um, set it outside so FedEx can come pick it up tomorrow so I can get my money back or at least some of it because the shipping fees were high. Wayfair tomatoes. I should have just said it was broke. Let me not even increment. Well, it's not even incriminating because I never actually like did this. My stuff wasn't broken. But if you tell Wayfair that your stuff came broke when it got delivered, they'll be like, oh, just keep it. We'll give you a full refund. <laughs> Should you not? <laughs> but everything that that's happened to me, like it genuinely was like messed up when I got it from the wafer. So that was pretty much the entire day because by the time we came home, it was 11:30, and then I had two meetings that I had to hop on to. And then when I finished my meetings, the kids didn't really want to go down for a nap, so they just fell asleep maybe like an hour ago. So they probably got like one good hour nap. But now it's time for us to go. It's like about to be three o'clock, so we gotta leave. Go get Carter. And then they have football today, so we'll probably cook dinner a little bit earlier. I don't really know. I think I'm gonna make that pasta meal from HelloFresh that we got. And then we're just gonna be chilling. I'm probably gonna actually, like, well, it's still gonna be Carmelo's normal bath, bed, time, but then the other two boys are usually back to back, but I don't have to do that today, so. Depending on how much time I have, I'm probably gonna work a little bit try to get some edits done so I don't have to worry about doing them in the morning because as soon as I'd be like I'm a 5 a.m girly and I was like consistently waking up early but then as soon as I posted that I was waking up early 
every day it's like snooze on the alarm but in my defense it's because the kids keep getting in the bed and then it's like okay well what am i gonna do get up at 5 a.m everything that i want to do at 5 a.m for the most part is inside my room i want to wake up i want to sit in my chair i want to spend time with jesus i want to go over my work for the day my plans for the day take me a shower or just do whatever else i need to do like at least for an hour oh my i can't do that while they're all in my bed sleeping so i just like oh wait gonna sleep with them i saw this really cool parent hack sorry i'm like rambling i'm about to go but i saw this really cool thing and i'm like if i wish i would have known this i would have done this like way back in the gap when my kids were a lot younger but it was basically like these parents they got two trundle beds which is if you don't know it's like twin beds and then they or it can be any size bed but then they have a bed that comes out underneath like the one that carter has in his room but they face them the opposite way push them together made a king bed put like a gap thing in between the mattresses and then you can pull out the trundle on each side of the bed and then your kids could have slept on the side of your bed and then every day you just push it back in okay back when i had two kids and what did we have i think for a brief moment we were living when we first had Carter, we were in a one bedroom and our lease wasn't up until the new year when I got pregnant with Carson. So we were living in a one bedroom apartment with me and Carter Carson. And that would have been so clutch. But instead we had like the bassinet on one side and then we had like a toddler bed for Carter that was also in our room. And then another thing that I used to think about or not that I used to think about that I thought was so cool that I see nowadays is moms or like even just couples who live, but you know, it's rough out here, especially when you're a young parent. If you're an any parent in general, anytime in your life, you don't even have to specifically be young. It just be hard out here, okay? You live in a one bedroom apartment, but they turn their living room into like the master bedroom. And then the, the, the kids have the room, which I think is so smart. Personally, I don't really have that much company over anyways. And even if I did, it's like family and who the fuck cares? But it'd be looking so cool. And I'd be like, people are so creative. And that is the good parts of social media and content and all of that kind of stuff. It's just, it, it can be really, just really helpful. I hate when I get on here and I'm like, God, oh, social media is... Well, I don't feel like I really say that, but you know, like social media does have like pros and cons and negative and toxic things. I think it's just something that has to, you have to consume in moderation and not let it eat up all your time i think that's when it becomes toxic or when you like compare yourself to other people but if you just use it as like a search engine or tools to like help you then it's cool anyway okay that was my 13 minute random rant for the day i'm feeling a little bit more perked up somebody said coffee and coke are not the same it's caffeine and caffeine G give me a break give me a break the girls that get it get it okay i'm not gonna be listen you know what some people like coffee everybody's gonna say coke's bad for you i don't red bull i swear is gonna give me a heart attack i don't know what it is but my body is changing i used to drink red bull one day i was gonna go to the emergency room after i drank some red bull because i was like i was tired but my heart was beating so bad i couldn't sleep i was like i'm not drinking red bull anymore i still got some in the fridge but it's been sitting there for like two months i'm not drinking it mm. somebody did give me a recommendation though dang i should have screenshotted it because now i'm gonna lose it forever I'm gonna have to go back and try to find it by like searching words but she was like that it's oh i think it's the the ice brand it's like a tea energized tea or something but it doesn't have like sugar in it i don't know it's supposed to be good so i'm gonna try that instead of coke because everybody's like you're drinking coke it's too gross fun fact though i don't really like dark sodas i specifically drink coke for the caffeine i only like them when i'm pregnant which i'm not pregnant because i know Okay, let me stop because I need to get out of here by at least 3.15 because it's a swift walk over to the school, show my sign, get my kid, and get out of there. All in within 20 minutes. 25 if I leave a little bit too early. But an hour? 25 minutes to pick up my kid is still too fucking I should be able to walk now, get my kid, get it, skedaddle. Why is this? I mean, I know it's a lot more kids in the school, but it's just like somebody was like, they need to have a separate release time for every grade, which I think would be really smart. Like the real problem is, is that everybody wants to line up, stop lining up, come at dismissal time so we can all go through the line. You line it up and cause in this backlog of 30 minutes for what? For what? And it's the same person who's in the front of the line every day. They're in this like gray pickup truck. And I'm just like, listen, you're the problem. You is the problem. Okay, I'm gonna go start the car so it can cool off. Make sure I have shoes because yesterday Carson didn't have shoes. So. And we still had to get out of the car.
Set an alarm for 8.15 laundry. I set your laundry alarm for 8.15 p.m. If y'all could see how black my feet are right now, you'd be disgusted. <laughs> I'm about to take me a good shower. And I really want to wash my hair, but I'm not going to just yet. I am going to wash these braids before I get them redone, but I'm not going to wash it just yet. I'm going to wait on it a little bit. But my hair got super puffy today. I need to... um. I'm gonna do my nighttime little moisture and put it in some braids, but anyways, y'all. <sighs> Cooked dinner, cleaned up. My friend had came over here. <sighs> we are talking about our next vacation and then what we were gonna do for Friday because we're supposed to be going to the 30 set concert, but it's also the her last day of nursing school and they're taking their exit exam. So we're gonna see, we're really just gonna play it by ear. I still wanna go, but we just gonna see what the vibes are. And we're supposed to be planning a trip to go to Cabo, not till later, later. Anyways, both of the girls that I had went with on the trip to Punta Cana, they just graduated, or they're graduating from nursing this year. One of them already took her NCLEX and her exit exam, and then my other friend that was just here, she's taking her exit exam Friday and then her NCLEX in September. I'm like, that would have been me, nurse babe. Probably. I don't know if I would have made it through nurse school to be honest, but that was my plan. I wanted to be a nurse. I still think about going back to nursing school, but I just don't want to do it until the boys are a little bit older and they're just a little less dependent on me as far as just time wise and stuff like that. But I do still think about going back to school just to say I. Just to say I did it and then just to like have a degree like you can always get a job in healthcare so I don't see why not but I also don't want to do it the traditional route. I think the biggest thing that I learned after being in classes because I never started nursing school but I basically got through my first two years before you transition into like the nursing program because originally I was going to go to PV and then I ended up going to like take my basics and everything that I need as my prerequisites for the program at my community college and then I just end, didn't end up going but and my credits expired this year so I have to start all the way over from the beginning that's so sick anyways I want to do a two-year program where you do three priest requisites and then take the take the course so you basically get your RN or your ADN and then do the bridge online from ADN to VSN so I just feel like that's faster and it probably fit better with my lifestyle as with like already having kids and being a mom and then being older whenever I decide to go back but I mean I won't be that old I still be young y'all when my son is 18 I'll be 36 okay Mellow's the one that really pushed it he really pushed he really pushed us back a lot of it but that's okay nonetheless we're we're happy to have him we're happy to have him my hair looks crazy in this one my edges actually sweat out today usually the guys would be it'd be stuck down i was really outside today we've been outside the entire time since the kids came home from school and then we they went to practice we made dinner they ate they went to practice i'm about to hop in the shower because i got about 20 minutes till they get back because I've been cleaning up oh and then I had to walk around the backyard because they had turned off the sprinkler system while they were working on the concrete and y'all they fucked up my sprinkler 
and even the guy that came to mow my lawn today he was like mm -mm -mm. he was like the grass is not even long enough for them to mow and he usually needs to mow like every week in the back and then he was like yeah you need to water it and then he was like what they do with the sprinklers and i was like oh they capped them off and he was like if anything goes wrong you're gonna have to crack the concrete to get to the irrigation i was like i'm sick i'm sick and then they covered up some of my sprinklers because i had to turn on each individual one to see which one is which because it's by zones we have the rainbird and i need to start running it and doing like soaking cycles to get the grass to come back alive and it's just big puddles where they covered up some of the sprinklers with concrete and sand and just left it there so we're gonna have to get some shovels and some wheelbarrows and start fixing that up. I'm, I'm not, I can't even say I'm pissed. I really don't. I'm very indifferent. I know I will probably be mad later when it becomes an issue, but right now I'm just very much. Lesson number one as a homeowner. But your construction crew, okay? Yeah, I need to see the reviews. I need to see um recommendations. We'll not be doing that again. The guy who was like the lead of the construction team like reached out and was like, I'm really sorry if there's anything that I can do to compensate you for the work for free. Like my team just did not do a good job. And he was like, I'm, I apologize. And I was like, shit, you don't do something for free? <laughs> you can come build this pergola out here in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My mom's like, no, you're not gonna have him do anything else because you don't know how it's gonna turn out. And I was like, okay. I was like, but should they can at least come back and pick up the mess that they made, dig up the dirt and stuff, like in the sand and the concrete that they left and get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I told my mom. But I haven't heard back from her. But anyways, I'm worked on the sprinklers, so I got everything noted and I put them on a little schedule. So they'll start running. They want to go on spring break. I don't want to go on spring break. They want to wait to go on a trip all the way till March. No, no, I don't be going nowhere. I'm ready to get the ASAP. <sighs> but I think I did crack the code. At first I was like, we don't have anybody to watch the kids for long periods of times. So if y'all don't know, we just listen. Ever since I had my kids, when I tell y'all, community is just so different these days. You, it's not a lot of help with kids. And having three of them, two on top of that, but I think Carmelo is old enough now where Aaron's grandma can keep them. Like she lives in Tyler, but she, I think she can like keep them. So if we wanna go on trips and like stuff, but before like Melo was just too young um, to be that far away from home. And then with her and she moved out there. So it's not like she's here all the time. You know what I'm saying? So. I can't wait till, well, by that time, I won't even need a babysitter. I was going to say till my mom retires or something, but oh, I miss my Nana. My Nana was retired. She was like the certified, the certified everywhere. She did everything for everybody. Oh, your kid needs to go here, here, there. Like all the grandkids, she took us everywhere. She did everything. Like she did everything for us. R.I.P. Barb Ann. Everybody always asks me what my tattoo on the back of my neck says, and it literally says my grandma's name. Now that I got it, though, I will say, like, I don't regret getting it, but I did, I OD'd it. Like, I don't think I would, like, if I could go back, I wouldn't do it as thick as I have it, but I always get compliments on it because people are like, it looks like a stamp. And I don't, yeah, I don't notice it because I don't see it every day. You gotta, you gotta be looking at that for me to be able to see, like, unless I see, like, myself from, from the back, that's the only time I see it. But I am getting some more tattoos soon, so stay tuned. I'm getting some hand tattoos. I fell in love with this one I seen on Instagram. I was like, oh, I want that. Well, I probably regret it later. That's why I can't do things that are permanent because I'm so indecisive. But, and then I've, I've been wanting to get the boys' names tattooed on me. And I'm thinking about, like, getting it around my ear or behind my ear. I don't know, we don't, we don't see. Don't look at it now, it's gonna make me subconscious. Of course, on the morning after I read the attendance policy for school, Carter is throwing up. Like he's already missed two days of school and it's only the first week. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
good morning. I'll be with ya. <sighs> I'm just taking my hair down really fast. I gotta head downstairs, but Carter threw up this morning all over the floor. He's currently in the bath. And yeah, he, he got in my bed last night and he was like, Mom, my stomach hurts. And I was like, okay, well, where is it hurting at? And he was just saying like, oh, on his stomach. So I just kind of started rubbing his belly and he fell back asleep. And then this morning he woke up and he was like, Mom, my stomach hurts. And I was like, okay, baby. I didn't know what my next course of action was going to be because the stomach aches kind of hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he threw up. So I was like, well, okay, well, we'll go from there. So he threw up. It's time for him to get his stitches out of his forehead anyway. So I'm just going to take him to the um, urgent care today. And get his stitches out. I, he doesn't feel like he has a fever or any other symptoms to me. And nobody else is sick from what we ate last night. But he did throw up what we had last night. So I don't know. Maybe heat exhaustion from being out at football. We did play outside pretty much all day yesterday. So... That's gonna be probably what I'm assuming, but just wanted to come check in in case I don't see you guys until very much later since all of that just happened. It's gonna probably change the course of direction of what we got going on today, at least. Mommy, do you see our come? So I'm we'll making For breakfast. We messed up showing them that so. I'm gonna make Carter a cocktail for his stomach. Ice, ice, coconut water. It's gonna be good. Watch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just stay with me. Stay with me. Is that how you talk to yourself? You talk to yourself. Talking to my friends. What? Talking to my friends. Gatorade. Do you think that will make me feel better? I think it will help you hydrated with the electrolytes. I don't have ginger ale, so Sprite to calm the stomach. Sprite? Not sick. Ooh. It is hot. It is a little warm. It's hot. <laughs> Don't start. That doesn't mean you're sick. Mommy, I'm gonna check. Up. I'm gonna check your temperature. Oh, buddy. Let's see if I have the thermometer in here. And I do. Let's check her. It's dirty. Let's check our temps. Mm hmm What's temp? Your temperature. Mm, you are good. You're both good. Everybody, everybody's good. Carson, really don't start the picking. I'm not kidding. You could just say, I want to drink. I'm not about to give you no medicine because you're not sick. I know he's not sick on Okay, we're on our way to Target because we have some things to pick up. I think I was telling y'all we were gonna go yesterday. We probably would have had like a whole outing day today and went to maybe like Lush and Sephora, but the baby is sick, so we not doing that. But I scheduled him appointment for a little bit later for the urgent care. All the times were filled for this morning, so he's just in his bed, laying down, drinking Gatorade, eating oranges. Um, so yeah, we'll go to the go to the urgent care a little bit later so i'm just gonna go ahead and like get the stuff that we need from target so i can just get it out of the way and then probably just snuggle up and lay with him for the rest of the day to be honest and then if he falls asleep i'll probably like organize my bathroom and stuff but i know the road noise is probably loud so i'll see you guys once we get to target we have arrived <laughs> I have a list. I have a list. I have a list. 
follow the list. All right, let's go. Before it gets too crowded in here, let me just need to get home. Chop the roof and let the smoke clear. Chop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds moving to the stars and focus. Dice rolling on the last big strips and die. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fucking not, I keep the quality. We're back. Got everything that we needed. And we're gonna just head home. Today's looking like it's gonna be a very chill day. Whee! I came home. Carter's playing outside. So I'm like, okay, listen. We're not about to play hooky. We were supposed to go to school. So anyways, we're gonna go to Clyde Warren Park and let the kids play because it's already 10 o'clock. So they're gonna play for a little bit. We're gonna eat lunch out there. Hopefully they'll get tired, come home, take a nap. But I told y'all, I'm in my just living life air hours just outside. I love this for me. We're going to the library tomorrow, probably the aquarium next week. Anyways, I packed light because they have food and everything there. So we just have like diapers, the baby's bottle. I packed sunscreen, even though I already put it on them. So I'm just gonna put my shoes on. Got my water cup, let's go. My money, my body, now your own. I love you. My money, my body, now your own. Oh, baby. I feel your body, I can't do. Hey, I do this for the body, oh, baby. nap today all the kids got a good nap today so <sighs> i love that for us i love that for us carter however i i kind of mom failed but it was it really my fail or was it really my child who refused to listen to me fail but also i should have just been like nah get back in a bed you know what i'm saying but anyways we ended up going to Clyde Warren park it was cool a lot of fun definitely getting out the house more for sure however on the way back two minutes from the house carter starts throwing up but I think we did figure out what it is because he has no fever. He's not really sick. I think he has an allergy to peaches. So we're going to take him to the allergist or an allergist and get him tested. Because um, I was talking to Aaron and he had this weird random throw up in the car thing like maybe like four or five months ago. And he threw up a whole bunch of peaches and then he was sick for the rest of like a day and a half. Like the day it happened and then he didn't go to school the next day. So today I asked him, I said, you had a brown bag when you came home from football practice. What was in your brown bags i didn't send them with anything but i know sometimes the the place where they play football some of the moms or the parents they bring like fruit pouches or and drinks or whatever so I was like what did you have and he was like mom i had peaches a lot of them and i'm so sorry i didn't tell you but they were so delicious and i was like it's okay like it's not a big deal but i think that i don't know if it's actually peaches or maybe it's the, the syrup that's in those fruit cups because i'm pretty sure it was like a fruit cup that he had but the last couple times he's had him, he's gotten sick. So we're going to chalk it up to that. And yeah. 
So anyways, I'm going to do my little Target haul since now I'm on the And then put the stuff away. So I think I'm a fall girl, not a Halloween girl this year. So I got more pumpkins. And when I was there, I was like, bro, you already have a lot of pumpkins. Why are you getting more pumpkins? But I'm like, this is all the fall decorum that they have. So we're probably going to have to try to go to Lottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, Home Goods, some, somewhere else. Y'all know this strap just doesn't like me, but anyways, I thought this was so cute. It's a glass, um, and if you like look at the detailing on it, it's so pretty. So I was like, oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Another thing, thank you. I was really mostly looking for knickknacks for the this over here, because I told you I really wasn't going to do a lot of fall decorating, which I'm still not. Like, I just kind of want that to be... I mean, it has to be like a little bit. It doesn't have to be. I want it to be just a little bit fuller. I mean, three of the shelves are blank. You know what I'm saying? So I was looking for little knickknacks. I didn't find much, but I did find this little candle holder. I thought it was cute. I feel like it's giving fall vibes. So I'm going to put that up over there. I also got this really pretty chocolate brown throw for the couch because i feel like it's just really on brand with fall but without going green or because i might use green at different times of the season like spring or you know summer whatever but i wanted something more like a deeper color so we went with this chocolate brown throw i'm excited to put it on the couch over the edge and just see what it looks like so let's do it right now we're just gonna put it right over this corner right here don't mind my comforter on the bed. Okay. It's kind of small, but I thought it would be cute. Okay, that doesn't look cute, but. <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of small for the couch, but nonetheless, it matches the neutral aesthetics we have going on in here. But it's a pop of color. Y'all know I'm in my earth tone era. Okay, this is not fall decor. I got the same leave-in conditioner, or it's conditioner, not leave-in, that I've been using uh, for my curls for Carmelo and Carson because they're out of leave-in. But even though this is regular conditioner, I'm still going to use it as leave-in in their hair. I really always have liked Aussie moisture for my hair. It uh, just moisturizes my curls and like low porosity hair really well, which everybody in my house has low porosity hair. I really like these simple modern water bottles that I got one for Carter for school and it always keeps his ice and his water cold like until I pick him up and so I got one for Mello and Carson as well because they're also just like easy to carry and all the other water bottles that they have they just all have little things about them I like that the straw like pokes back in there so you don't have to worry about it but anyways i got a star wars one for carson i got some little things to go in carter's backpack so he has this little front pocket of his backpack right here and they really don't care their school supplies and stuff back and forth to school but i wanted to put him just like a little kit together in the front pocket in case he needs it these are like little disinfectant cloth wipes which i know for a kindergartner probably sounds like absurd but carter's actually like a super duper clean freak he cleans his room he cleans out his sink every morning like after he spits his toothpaste without me asking like he's like his dad i wouldn't say ocd it's not ocd but he's just very clean so i got him um some wipes in case he wants to wipe down like his desk or whatever i also got him a touch land hand sanitizer i didn't know they sold these in target and this one smells I kind of want this one, but anyways, I put that in there, and then I also am going to put a little hand lotion, especially because it's about to get colder out here, so you can have that, and then the boys usually wear sunscreen on their face, and then aquaphor as well, so especially because it's about to get cold outside, I wanted him to have something to at least put on his lips or his face if it gets dry during the day, so put that in there for him, and I also got him some wipes y'all know we only use wipes at home so if he does have to go poop at school which i hope he doesn't really have to go poop or he just needs to like maybe like wipe his mouth or something like after lunch i brought him some wet ones wipes um and then i'm also gonna put some gum in there but yeah i didn't want to get him like a little bag because i felt like that would be a little bit girly and i couldn't find anything that wasn't like a cosmetic bag at target so maybe eventually i'll look for one but for right now i think the front pocket of his backpack works just fine and then it's kind of like behind this so back to everything else got some 
croissants, of course. These are not the ones that I wanted. The ones that I really like, like I only found them at this one beauty supply store. I couldn't even find them on Amazon. The exact same ones I got, but I went back to the beauty supply store and they were sold out. So I just went ahead and got these natural looking ones. And then I got this coconut oil for my hair to give it a little bit of shine in the braids. Um, Cause they do get like full throughout the day. I slept on them too. I took my bonnet off. So they're probably a little tangly, but I just wanted to give my hair like a little bit of a shine and an easy way to like refresh it in the morning since I already put product in it at night and sleep with it in two braids. And then I wanted to try this. Okay. I saw, I think her name is Kayla on Instagram and she did an ad for it. And I was like, that actually low key looks fire. I got the little one just to try out and the little one is like 20 bucks and the full thing is like 30 something dollars so anyways but it has nice and my vitamin c collagen peptide vitamin e and how alpha hydroxy which i really like vitamin c i like nice and my and i love vitamin e for my skin so i was like this kind of feels like it's just like a i think it has hyaluronic acid in it as well i don't know i really low-key think like Olay has some good products and L'Oreal for like being a drugstore. It smells good. It might be a little too good. But I just wanted to try it out and see what it was hitting for. So I got a little mini sample of it. Probably use it for a couple days out this week and see. Then I needed some cleaning spray. So I got this Pacifica Coconut Bleach Free. I like the way this smells a lot. Okay, I got a bra. Do I know if it's gonna fit? No, I have no idea what my boob size or bra size, technically boob size is, since I got my breast reduction, which honestly, something I'm like super not feeling about the breast lift is like, I knew I was gonna lose tissue, but my boobs have never been this small in my entire life. So I didn't really know how I'm feeling about that. And then y'all know I was thinking about getting a fat transfer to my boobs. When I got it done, I ended up just doing the lift because I can always go back and add the fat, which I've been heavily contemplating. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not, but um anyways i don't have any real bras and i'm gonna be tired of nipping so i got this one hopefully it'll fit it's really soft it's by the brand Auden, and i just guessed my size i've always been like a 34 around for the most part so i got a 34 c because i used to be like a d double d and my boots are like significantly smaller than they were before <laughs> so yeah okay then i got some headbands i'm about to put one on right now i love these braids but i don't like hair being in my face when i'm cooking or if i'm playing with the kids or just trying to get anything done like having them in my face annoys me and then also i don't like putting them up in like tight ponytails because it's just not good for like your edges but i don't like the way it pulls my hair so i don't know if this looks decently okay or if we look like we're in the hands weight's tail but nevertheless the hair is out of my face so you know, I had to get a pumpkin candle. I mean, is it even fall if you don't get a pumpkin candle? Fun fact, I'm actually allergic to pumpkins. I don't like them anyways, but I found that out the hard way that I was allergic to pumpkins. And my allergy was kind of like how Carter's was. Like, I didn't have rash, hives, stuff like that. I found out because I started vomiting. I started vomiting, and that's how I found out I was allergic to pumpkins. As I got older, the allergy got worse. Like, I do get hives now, like, if I touch pumpkins, not from the outside, but, like, the inside of pumpkins. These are just too cute. They're, like, glass-blown pumpkins, and I'm just, like, obsessed. I mean, I think I even just like them right here. Or maybe on the other side over here, because I already have, like, a pumpkin right there, but... Do you see how cute they are? And then, oh, oh I guess I can face y'all this way. I'm about to put these over here, I think. I got these two things. Okay. I think this one is gonna look really pretty because the face is like a grayish neutral color on the brown wood. there i don't know i actually thought i was gonna like that a lot more than i do i actually don't like that up there at all y'all can probably barely see it but i don't like it okay let's try this one on the bottom it just 
doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look... See, that'd be my problem. But I still think this is cute, but maybe it'll be cute, like, in the middle of the dining room table instead. Okay. You can't really see it because it just looks like a reflection, but it doesn't look bad. I could probably put it up here, too. Like, let's try and put it right there up on the shelf. Let's see what it looks like. I bet that's cute. Okay, I think that's cute. I think I might move these pumpkins. Okay, ignore this stuff over here. What do we think about that? I think that's cute. This is weird. I really don't like this. I'm not feeling the vibes over here. I try to do like a little pumpkin patch thing over there if y'all can't see, but it's like multiple color pumpkins because I have those really cute white ones with Crate and Barrel and then the other ones are cute too. They're from like Target and stuff. But and it like adds color to the room which is great but it's just feels like mm -hmm. any suggestions? I, I don't take any suggestions. Y'all send me the links. Send me the links to the decor, okay? I'll be honest with you. I haven't really seen anything that I just feel like really fits that space over there. And so I just like ended up leaving it like that because I was like okay you're gonna have to get a little bit something gonna have to get a little bit of something over there i mean i have cute individual pieces over there which i've talked about before like i'm really good at picking like individual pieces that i think are cute like that i like for my aesthetic but sometimes bringing them all together is kind of the issue for me and i even looked up inspo for like shelving anyways i don't know i don't i'm not really feeling it but here we are it is what it is we'll figure it out as we go we still have the whole fall season till november because november is christmas but and then, you know, it's so crazy because, like, what do you do for Thanksgiving? Like, bring back all your fall decorations for, like, one week and then put your Christmas stuff back up? <laughs> no, like, it's just Christmas Thanksgiving. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's everything that I got. Yeah, we'll just get a couple of little fall pieces probably here and there as we just, like, go out what we see. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to make the kids a snack. It's really already close to dinner time. We slept for a, a while. It's like four o'clock. They didn't go to sleep until like one though. So like a three hour nap is really not that off. And they didn't wake up at four. Like they've been up for like probably like 30 minutes. They're all just in their rooms hanging out though. Cause I told Carter, I was like, yeah, you're, no. You're not getting back out of the bed for the rest of the day. And then I'm trying to like not psych myself out cause he drank out of my water bottle. And then I was like, am I gonna be sick? Cause you drank out for me. And then is everybody gonna have a stomach virus? But I think it was the peaches, honestly, that did it, so. Fingers crossed. We can really just do leftovers for dinner. I don't think Carter will really eat a lot today, like as far as like dinner, if I cook something. I haven't had a Sprite in so long. And it's flat. Anyways, I think I'll probably just heat up leftovers for Carson and Carmelo to eat from what we made last night. I'm telling y'all, none of the Hello Freshers I've made in a long time, like, are bad. They all hit. Like, they're all good. They're all, they're all good. I'm like, okay, Hello Fresh. We have a ton of leftovers, so I think I'm just going to probably heat up leftovers, and I'm going to make Carter some soup, because I feel like that would be the easiest thing on his belly, like some soup and some crackers. I want to go try this bra and see if it fits. And I told Carter I was going to go play Legos with him for a little bit, so let's go upstairs, see what they're doing, see if they need a snack before dinner. Thank you to my man. Shout out to him. Okay, I don't know why that's stuck in my head. Bro, can I put it on right now? I will be sick if I'm not even a C, like if I'm a B, which there's nothing wrong with the small titty girlies. Please don't take offense to that. I don't mean anything by that. You know, I just, for me, I'm just not used to that. I'm just not used to that. You know, I'm glad that I haven't had like a lot of other things done that I maybe thought I wanted to have done. Honestly, I don't regret having the breast lift. I honestly love having it because my boobs are not all the way down to my stomach, but really it's, it, it was never that serious. It was never that serious. I put it on over top of my shirt. I feel like it fits. There's no spillage, but it feels like snug enough. I'll probably have to like tighten up the straps a little bit. Thank you. Okay. I'm crying. Somebody literally was like, influencers saying they have social anxiety is literally like, 
the dumbest thing basically because you be doing all this stuff like being in your world talking about sex etc et in front of hundreds of thousands of people and then be talking about you have anxiety and target girl <laughs> i saw the comment and i was like mm, you might have been onto something however not too much not too much okay let's go i gotta redo my nails today he does a lot so. what are you talking about carson what come on let's play it? let's play lego not till you tell not until you tell carson to turn that thing around he, he can't he locked the door on him on who carson Okay, we'll unlock it. I, I can't. Yes, you can. Just push the button. I am Mom, move out the way. No, you're not about to kick my door down. You're not going to kick your door? Relax. Oh, just turn the knob, baby. It's right there. Ain't no way they just locked themselves in the room. Ain't no way. And I don't know how to turn that type of lock. There's no way I can do it. Like, you know, on some doors you can just like pop the lock. Yeah, it's not one of those doors. I'm gonna have to break the door. Mom, do not. Don't lock the door. Don't lock the door. Oh my God! Send help. Okay, that was about the most chaotic thing I've done in my life. Trying to open up that door. I really was like, leave the kids for dead. <laughs> break the door down or call a locksmith. But thank God I used my brains and you know, God always be knowing what he'd be doing because I literally have been leaving the toolbox in the garage. Y'all know I'm scared of the garage. I brought the toolbox in the house the other day because I was like, I just might need these tools. So I'm glad I did that. Also, not shout out to FedEx because they did not take my wafer packages returns because they said I did not use the correct tape. I said, oh, I thought as long as it was boxed up, it wasn't my problem. I thought it wasn't my problem. Don't ask me why I'm about to relay my baby hairs at five o'clock i'm just bored if if you ever want to know what it's like to be my friend in re like real 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 life this is it i literally just call my friends for nothing emotional support throughout the day tell them about random things and do random things all day like it's that's all that's that's that, that's that's the majority of what it is to it's this <laughs> maybe go out to eat as soon as I come in my room, I've literally been in Carter's room playing Legos with him this entire time. As soon as I move anywhere throughout the house, here comes the little Peter patters Peter patters Peter patters I just made Carson unlock and lock the door 20 times. And listen to, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, you know, I feel like that's gentle. Yeah, that was gentle. I was literally about to have a panic attack. Because I'm like, you just locked you and your brother in there. Carmelo's fine, because he's watching Miss Rachel. After he woke up from his nap, he's like, oh, I'm chilling, right? And then Carson lied. It was the fact that he was lying. Because I was like, who locked the door? He was like, the baby. I was like, where is the baby? He was like, the baby's in his bed. I'm like, how did the baby lock the door? Because the baby can't get out the bed. Then he was like, I was like, unlock the door. Y'all, by the time 20 minutes go past, I finally get the door open. I'm like, lock and unlock the door. He unlocks it on the first try. I'm like, mm. y'all know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. I'm like, you know what? I said, come in. Come sit at the door right here and unlock it and lock it 20 times. And then don't relock the door again. And I think he got the message. He was like, Mom, I'm sad. I'm not gonna lock the door anymore. I said, yeah, as you should. Because he was more scared. He was like, I'll be locked in here forever. I was like, I don't. That's up to God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I won't lie though. I was starting to get pissed off. I was like, oh my gosh. Because I'm not like pissed off like mad, but I was just getting like, what if he don't really get out of the room? <laughs> like, I mean, obviously he would have eventually got out, but I'm like, it would have been this whole long dramatic process to get him out if, if I couldn't figure out how to unscrew the door off of the handle. But anyways, I, was I came in here because there's somebody coming to my house, a nice lady who cleans. She's been my aunt's housekeeper for like, probably since I was a child i don't know it's been a very long time but she doesn't live close to me but i was like hey can you please and she was like y'all come look at your house and give you an estimate i was like cool because y'all know and my aunt has like i wouldn't say i can't just be 
when I say OCD, please do not take me seriously. I'm just saying it as a figure of speech. She's very tidy, very clean, cleans her house before the housekeepers come to clean her house. That's like clean, like vacuums before the housekeepers come type clean. So I know her cleaning lady's got to be, she, she's had the same one for forever. So I know she's got to be good. So I'm like, yeah, but I came in here because I was like, maybe I should pick up a little bit because she's going to come walk through the house and be like, mm, mm. I'm going to tell her like, oh, I'm going to pick up before you come, girl. She said she was going to be here in between 5 and 6 and it's closer to 5 30 so it's halfway so i was like maybe i've been wanting to organize my bathroom that's what i thought i was going to do today but then when carter threw up then we went to think it just it didn't work out exactly how we planned it out in my head but i'm gonna get it done tonight before i go to bed because i'm just making leftovers so i don't have to cook so i'm gonna just you know use this time to just really not necessarily like well i am organizing but i'm gonna take everything out that i don't use on a daily basis and literally move it over there because my counter gets crowded because i'll put one thing in one place and it'll get mixed in with a whole bunch of stuff i don't use on an everyday basis and then i have to take everything out because it looks like a mess like haters are gonna hate haters are gonna hate but listen someone literally commented on my video the other day and they were like <laughs> As a stay-at-home mom, you should have your house clean every day because what child and man wants to come home to their house unless after being out all day? Girl! Listen, I feel like if you're really good at staying on top of your stuff, maybe you should make an account. Teach us. Show us something. Please free the girls. Because I know I'm not the only one like the house just gets a mess like it just it's life i'm not gonna spend my entire life cleaning patricia <laughs> okay anyways it should be really like mm -mm. Mm -mm. but my house don't have critters and it's a healthy okay we might have a little crumbs here and there it is what it is. Okay, let me actually focus and get this done. I'm gonna play some music because if I don't, I'm just gonna sit here and talk and then I'm not gonna get anything done. So, I also saw this really cute DIY thing. We need to go to Home Depot. Get into it. I'm this close to going to get cowgirl boots and changing my entire identity. So, new me, who's this? My British accent is that British? Is it British? It's like when I try, I can't do it, but then when I'm not trying, I could do it. Anyways, I'm packing noodles. <laughs> the noodles took me out. <laughs> my noodles. I'm packing my legs. Some noodles. Some noodles. The kids. The kids. Listen. I started back watering my grass, right? Because everybody, because you know, everybody keeps telling me my grass dead, so water my grass. Um, I saw this girl and she was talking about she she was watering her grass for four days out the week and her water bill was like five hundred dollars. I said, Oh, good heavens, no. The water bills already have been high, and then get this, the water company was like, Oh, they keep sending me letters in the mail and they're like, We're about to discontinue your service. I'm like, Well, I'm paying you some money, so why would you do that? And then she was like, the contractor didn't finalize the permits because I finally got a hold of them. They take forever to answer the phone. But anyways, she was like, yeah. So I texted my contractor and I was like, hey, 
We still get those permits for the house because um, they're about to cut my water off. And he was like, yeah. So now I got to call them back today. Anyways, that was a random thought. I was looking at my grass. Ginger B, what you want to eat? You want some blackberries? Do you want some blackberries? Apparently he doesn't like blueberries anymore. Because he just throws them all over my floor. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Fruit is like the appetizer. It's like the whole jewel. It's like the whole you guys keep asking me for the lunch inspo, but I don't have any to give because my kid will only eat the same three things in rotation. Hawaiian sliders. Oh, well, we did add cheese and turkey roll-ups, and he did eat those. But macaroni, Hawaiian sliders, turkey cheese roll-ups, and noodles is like the best we got going on right now. With a side of pickles, fruit snacks, crackers or pretzels. And then I also sent him with a snack because they let them eat snack during the day. So. But I have a complaint about these lunch boxes. Y'all go so hard behind. I'm talking about the moms before me. And that I got because y'all had them. They be spilling. Let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These right here. Oh, dang. I took the hot water out. I didn't even feel the thing. Let's. Oh. Wow, I'm so embarrassed. I just pulled that out the drawer and it has been. I promise I didn't know. <laughs> so we love this, the hot water activator thing. But these lunch boxes, like if you even if you put the little divider things in there, like if he moves around his backpack even a little bit, all of the stuff slides together. Like this will go over here and like back and forth. And then his food gets mushy and he doesn't want to eat it. And I'm like, rightfully so, because who would want to eat that? That's disgusting. Pickles on your crackers, making them soggy. Nah, I'll pass. Anyways, I think I'm going to end up having to order those little silicone lunch dividers, but with the top on there, because right now, all I have, all I have right now are these little dividers, and they don't seem to be doing the trick. Today I'm not going to put a lot in there, I'm just going to do pickles and fruit snacks and then he has oranges in there, so hopefully it doesn't spill. What do y'all want to eat for breakfast? I want to eat toast and then... Okay. No, and sausage. Sausage and toast. How's your belly feeling? Anyways, we're going to the library today, but the camera battery is about to die, and I will keep fighting for my life on time, so I'm gonna just wrap it up. Back from school drop off, my new plan about park oh, parking? Yeah. Mm -mm. Tonight, today, a polite police officer told me, oh, you know, we don't allow you to park up there and walk this way for safety reasons. And I said, okay, I'm not gonna argue with you, because he was polite. Had he been a hint of rude, of crude, it would have been a problem, okay? <laughs> he was cool. He was cool and he was like, and then there was a car coming and they were like driving really fast and they aren't supposed to drive the way that we walk. Anyways, I wish y'all could see what I see. Anyways, it's hard to explain it so people can visualize so it doesn't sound like I'm just being any type of way, but the car was coming away, he's not supposed to come and they were driving pretty fast. And he was like, see that right there? Is why you don't we don't want you to cross right here because this asshole speed and he said the a word in front of these children. I said, Oh my god, I'm not, I mean, not that I never said it before in front of kids, but they're my kids, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, and sure enough, and it's like the guy was speeding and he has to come up and turn all around, and you're gonna get in trouble, but still, it's feeling more like a mm, they want me to not do it, but am I illegally doing anything? I wouldn't say that I'm doing anything illegal. So technically, do I have to stop? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not kidding. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm, I'm done. I'm done trying to fight it. I'm gonna take my L. I'm gonna walk the long way, park at the gas station. And then it's the fact, and listen, it's like you get out at the gas station, okay? For one, and it's everybody, okay. I don't know what y'all call them everywhere else. I don't even know, but they posted up at the gas station. Okay, the niggas is outside at 8 a.m. in the morning. When you're taking your kids to school, post it up at the gas station like this. 
then they'd be respectful. They don't be saying nothing to me when I be dropping Carter off. Then when I be coming back, it's always, I was watching the car for you. How is you, Shorty? How you day, Shorty? You having a good day, Shorty? You don't come fuck with me like me? I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm just here to do school drop off where I thought this, who would have known that this would be my drop off experience? <laughs> okay. Then they're smoking. And Carter is always like, Mom, I smell their smoke. I'm like, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Anyways. Okay, so the plan is to leave in the next 25 minutes to go to the library, so I'm gonna take the quick hoe back. Quick. Then we're gonna lay the baby hairs and put some clothes on, dip, and go to the library. We're gonna test out the Olay Super Serum today. It gets one chance, and one chance only, to prove itself. It's got like pink shimmer to it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's so fragrant. Like it smells really good. And I don't know if your skin is but it smells really good. But I washed my face in the shower, so that's all I need. And then I gotta put some sunscreen on. So let's get into the hair. My five minute shower took a little bit longer. Okay, today I'm gonna try something new with my hair instead of re-wetting it this morning since I already put conditioner in it and stuff last night. And then I brighted it up. I'm just gonna put the shine in there that I got yesterday to help with the frizziness and throw maybe a little bit of mousse on top of my head, on the top of my head. I probably should've did the mousse first. But I already put, did I put mousse in my hair last night? No, I didn't. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. That's the problem. Oh, it's back. Maybe long after you're done using it. Oh, I did end up finishing organized my bathroom yesterday. I don't remember when the last time I talked to you guys was yesterday, but I finished organizing my bathroom. I didn't get the whole room, but that's another story for another day. All right, lay the baby hairs. And then outfit fragrance will be done. My baby, a lot more of my baby hairs are starting to come out now, so I'm glad I only got a little bit initially. My nose is so itchy. I've got 10 minutes if I still want to make it out of here on time. I'm hoping the plan is we're getting there early, so the plan is to like get there early, like probably eat lunch out today and then get home for nap time. Do I have a pimple right here? Show enough do. Show enough do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna pick out an outfit then I'll come back. I'll probably talk to y'all when I'm leaving. You're gonna have to get up soon, so no, we ended up going to the library. I didn't really get a lot of footage while we were at the library because they're mostly just like playing with the kids, supervising the kids, you know, that type of vibe. Read a couple books. Um, I think the library was cool. It, it was cool. I, it was all right. I don't know if I'm just a library girl, like if I would just like regularly take the kids to the library because like it's interactive, don't get me wrong. And like they had a good time, like they definitely had a good time, but um. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, we ended up going to Chick-fil-A for lunch. We stayed there for like an hour and a half, got lunch. Granted, that library was like far from our house, so 
um, it was the Frisco library that we went to. But anyways, yeah, we went to the library, we got Chick-fil-A, which I got my shot at. If y'all know me, you know like, this is my vice. It's a wave bender from Bahama Bucks. And I used to drink these all the time when I was pregnant, but they don't have a Bahama Bucks anywhere near where we live. So I was like, I'm gonna take the opportunity to get one while I was in Frisco. Cause I know they have one. I never ate my salad from earlier. But yeah, it was cool. We were gonna try probably like the Perot Museum next, aquarium. I probably won't go to the zoo until it cools down a bit. I'm gonna eat my salad. I was gonna clean up. Cause I was like, if I can't nap, at least let me be productive. Productive. Let's shake up my salad. It's not really working. Oh. Anyways, since I'm not taking a nap, I was like, I'm gonna be productive and clean, but I actually forgot I need to get these forms filled out for Carter and Carson. For a football. But on Max, I'm like, I already filled it out online. So why do I need to fill out the paper form? But anyways. I'm like, let me just go ahead and fill these out before I pick them up. That way I can just be like interacting with Carter after he comes home from school. But I need a pen. All I got is this dull ass pencil. I don't know where my pens are at. But the coach is making me mad, or like the head guy for the athletics team, because like he was like, we need their birth certificate, these forms filled out, and a physical by Saturday at noon. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I already paid for their physicals at the school on the first day of practice. For them to get like for them to have it done he keeps trying to say like oh you need to bring it the paper i'm like they took the paper on the day they did the physical so it should be on file i'm about to fill out these forms i'm like i'm over it at this point and then they told carson he could play even though he's not four yet and then they're saying oh well he can't play it's very disorganized and i don't even know half the information you're supposed to put on in no way we still gotta do paper forms in 2023. I don't even have good handwriting. This is not even gonna be legible. And then I hate filling out forms because you know like forms are like so repetitive. I put his first last name and date of birth on the first page. Why do I have to repeat it on the second page? <laughs> Can y'all tell I'm just like really not digging parenting as of lately? <laughs> like all the carpool lines, papers. Please get somebody else to do it. It literally asks the same exact questions over and over and over again. They're gonna be like, we cannot read this. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm literally just sitting here. Like, I'm not about to do anything. I thought I was about to clean up, so I was gonna clean up with y'all, but uh, I'll probably do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, get ready with me to go eat lunch with Carter. I was gonna do my nails, but honestly, it's a kindergarten class. It's gonna be all right. I already got ready for the day and I just been cleaning up for most of the morning. So we're getting ready a little bit. I picked up my face this morning. So I'm gonna put a little concealer on there. And then I was supposed to get a lash fill this morning, but I said, bump it. Um, I need to get my house together. Don't look at that and then assume my house is not together. Storage problem, as far as comforters and things go, I don't really have like a designated place to store them right now. So they have ended up in my closet right there. Do, do, do. It's his picture day today. He's taking his pictures right now. He wanted Panda Express for lunch, but Panda doesn't open until 1030 and his lunch is at 1030. And why are they lunch so early? Let's just talk about that because I don't make no dang sense why his lunch is so close to breakfast. Like they could have a snack at 1030, eat at 12 or something, but dang. I mean, I know they got a lot of grades, but still. Anywho. I'm just going to slick up my eyebrows. I really should have got my eyelashes done because I'm supposed to be going to the 50 Cent concert tonight and it would have been nice to, you know, feel like a bad bitch, maybe, you know, because I'm going outside. I'm going with my friend. I think I told y'all she's, this is her last day at nursing school today and my other friend just passed her in club, so it's a celebration day. Um, but I do have some work to do, so that's kind of why I'm just coming to talk to y'all right now. I'm just about to run out. I'm gonna go, um, 
take him lunch. I was trying to figure out what I was gonna wear because you know, I'm in my my walk around house clothes and I'm like, what do you wear besides sweatpants to a kid's school when it's 107 degrees outside? So anyways, also I think I'm like partially folding and I'm gonna get in the car line because this walking and the 107 degree heat literally took me out yesterday. I don't even remember when I talked to you guys last, but just now I had an attitude for the majority of the evening because of the heat. <laughs> Like, I don't know what it was. I've been in a good mood all week. Then as soon as I came back from picking him up from school, I was like, mm, don't even worry about it. I think we also overdid it yesterday, like going out of the house back to back two days in a row. Mm -mm. I think we're going to do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule or a Mon or a Tuesday, Thursday type of thing. But anyways, yeah, I woke up this morning at 4 a.m. Carmela woke me up and i was like okay well i'm taking a sign from the lord that i need to get up so i was doing a little bit of work this morning and then i ended up falling back asleep because i just stayed in my bed because Mello was in my bed and i was working a little bit and then i got tired around like 5 45 and i went back to sleep but i got a little bit of work i want to finish up because tomorrow i ain't doing nothing i ain't doing nothing on saturday but I am thinking about taking a little mini road trip. See, I, I'm trying to squeeze, stretch myself too thin. That's the problem. But I'm like, I really want to go get this stock tank. And they only have a couple left in stock. So I need to hurry up and go get it. But I got to rent a truck from like U-Haul or something. So I was thinking about trying to go get it after I come back from Carter's lunch. But then if I do that, then I'm going to have to probably finish up my work tomorrow. Doing little touch-ups on the vlog and stuff making the thumbnail making sure everything is tagged and i don't really like working on the weekends or doing stuff that like takes my attention away from the kids because then that all that just leads to us beefing because then they be bothering me and then i'd be mad but i'm like girl why are you mad at them it's not their fault no it's not so. anyways i don't know my friend's probably gonna call me whenever she gets done taking her test which probably will be here and while carter's at lunch and i know she's gonna want to start celebrating already but i'm gonna just have to tell the live girl I gotta work or I'm gonna be paying for it. Like I would just do it tonight, but we're going to the concert tonight. So it's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I got halfway done with my nails. So anyways, it's later. I'm back from having lunch with Carter and I got my work done and stuff. And while I was working, look, we're gonna go take it outside, but we need to talk about that because that's supposed to be the dining table. What the fuck is that? Get out of here immediately. But that's so cute. We're about to go set it up. I'm so excited. I also got them a little pool to match the vibes. So I'm going to bring it outside. I have like 30 minutes before I have to go pick up Carter from school. And then, yeah, let me catch up with y'all. I just want to bring it outside to see what it looks like really fast. Okay, let's move this. Okay. This is basically how I want the little stock tank set up to look, which I have not figured out yet how I'm gonna get it. I thought I had it figured out today. I did call them, they do have one in stock, so I need to pick it up. But I got two lounge chairs that will be here on Tuesday, but look, this is like the little kids pool set up. So just imagine it once it's like, you know, all a vibe, but I think this is so cute. I'm gonna put a little bit of water and let Mello, this is mainly gonna be like those smaller pools gonna be for Mello. And then the boys can sit here and have their little drinks, relax. Y'all, they messed up the yard. Like, look at the yard. It's so good. But anyways, it's so cute. And then I got these. This, which is basically like a hose adapter. So we can have multiple parts. I basically got that so that we can use multiple hose if needed. And then I got a new hose.
Did I mention it was hot outside? It's literally 107 degrees outside right now. That is insane. It's insane. Anyways, I need y'all to help me pick a color for the kids area of the patio. I'm going to use like these little things. That somebody was dying. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to get these little tiles. Can y'all see those? But I don't know what color I should get. Should I get the white? Okay, the brown low-key matches like the whole vibe overall because if y'all saw the little table I just showed y'all or if I should do black. I don't know so comment below because i'm not gonna buy them until i get somebody else's opinion um you'll see that it's supposed to be a dining table yeah i came down here after the girl started finished putting this stuff together because she was doing it while i was working i came down here and said, uh, excuse me what the f is that what is that that would be going back you know i'm returns i've been having a new way is absurd but Y'all can see me, right? I'm about to put these outside where I want the table to go, and then I ordered the actual table, so it should be coming before next week. I just want it before Carson's party, but um, I looked at a lot of outdoor furniture. I want something affordable. These were relatively decent compared to a lot of other options, and they're lightweight, but they're from the Christopher something collection. You can get it at Home Depot, Target, Walmart, Amazon. So anyways, let's go put that up outside. I'm about to make them separate. I told you, they did good today when they got home, or got in the car, because I told them yesterday. Okay, basically I want the dining room table to go back behind these chairs right here, so that's where I'm about to put the stuff. We're gonna do like a black umbrella with the table, but are y'all seeing the vibe? It's gonna be some outdoor seating right here. And then we've got this seating. That I only keep on there so the kids don't get into it, but without this on here, it looks a lot cuter and more aesthetic. And then I got a little bistro set for right here. And then this whole area right here is gonna be baby friendly. I'm probably gonna get them maybe like a little playhouse too and stuff. They have their basketball goal over there. And then water table, it's all gonna come together, but this is what we have right now. The grill, we're gonna try to make an outdoor bar over here um, and then have the little bistro set. I think it all comes together. I think it will all come together eventually. Again, it's not gonna be an overnight project, even though everything in me would love for this to just be beautiful in like five seconds but i think it'll just come together i'm gonna get some like outdoor plants i'm gonna have my aunt come over here and like walk around the backyard with me and tell me what she thinks about landscaping because she's super into like planting gardening and all that stuff and so probably get her my mom out here do some gardening projects on the weekends um, but yeah i think it's all gonna come together i think it's gonna be real cute just a very outdoor living space if you get the vibes keep the vibes I'm gonna get ready for the 50 Cent concert. Mommy, please. What they be saying? Mommy, I'm gonna get ready to go see my man, my man, my man, my man. We're gonna pregame a little bit. Malibu and Coke. I gotta go take a whole shower. What? A spider? Did you hear that? I thought it was a snake or somebody was dying. It was a spider. Granted, the scream was probably they be big, and if it's in the grass, it's probably huge. So, <sighs> all right, I'm gonna sit y'all after I get out the shower and we start getting ready. It's literally 107 degrees outside, so don't think we're getting cute because it's not giving be cute. It's giving be comfortable in 107 degree weather, which I did not think this through. <laughs> Okay, you know I don't gotta do my makeup, you know I don't gotta do my hair, but somehow I feel like this is gonna be a long get ready with me because the prep for 170 degree weather sounds like I said 70, 107 degree weather. And yeah, baby, um, we're gonna have to get down with the witch hazel. Witch hazel, best friend. She's gonna be our best friend right now. 
I haven't pulled out my loom in a minute, but I think I'm gonna do a layer of loom and a layer of duff. We're not taking any chances. <laughs> Your girl cannot be musty. Oh, definitely need booty deodorant. When I tell you, when I just came in here and took off my bra, oh, the under boob, oh, put this under my boobs. My only thing that I'm, that I'm like contemplating is like, first of all, my eyelashes look ridiculous, crusty, musty, dusty. It's not giving bad bitch, but it's okay. Charges from this the pink fan. Bye, bye, bye. I think so. Hold on. I can't find the charger. I need to make a list of things I need to do because I still got one hand to press songs and I will leave the house like this. So let me make a list. Press songs. Vlogging. Something y'all with me to contemporary. My skin is so dry. Ooh, I am thinking I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm either gonna do tinted. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna put on? I'm putting on my little L'Oreal tinted to the vlog camera. Y'all, I'm never throwing anything away ever again because I get to throwing stuff away, decluttering, and I guess I got rid of my dry shampoo and that would come in so clutch right now. I don't have any cotton pads, so. <laughs> Hands it is. Ugh. I'm doing under my boobs everywhere. Which which hazel everything. Sorry, not sorry. Have y'all ever got ingrowns under your armpits before? Because I've never had one in my life and now I have two. They hurt so bad, I will never shave up again. I knew better. But against my better judgment, I was in a rush. And also the Athena Club razors, throw them in the trash, they're ass. Ass. Okay, try it out for the first time. Yep. Now shout out to the girls, because they're trash. Okay. They don't glide. They are so up oh, ingrown to my armpits. Never in my 24 years of existing on this planet have I ever had an ingrown in my armpits. That's some bullshit. Some more just for good measure, especially under the armpits. I'm not the nether regions. Nobody should be down here anyway. You know what I mean? But up here, nose level. Mm -mm. Not gonna do it. I think I'm gonna get dressed first well i'm gonna lotion myself up i think we're gonna go it's we're gonna be outside so outdoor vibes means coconut lightweight so we're just gonna do the same color i've been doing with the kapari because it smells really nice and it pairs really well with whatever fragrance i decide um to wear so we're gonna literally look up grease ball i want to do my skincare first though before i start touching other stuff we're gonna keep it really simple um we need vitamin c serum Where's the show? I just organized all my stuff. So I didn't have to go through this. I don't know if I like this or not. I've had a couple breakouts. So it'd be like oh, yeah. one or two days, it'd be cool. And then it'd be some more here with the vitamin C. And this thing you've been vitamin C, it's vitamin C content. Whatever that means. They say you should use stuff for like two weeks to a month first, just to see, so I'm trying to stick it through. Okay, then I'm gonna do aloe vera on my face. Probably like another layer, cause it's like really hot outside and my face is dry. And I'm gonna put the bronzing stuff on cause I'm gonna be, I'm red right now. And I'm gonna be so red outside. Okay, get dressed, do we get dressed? Lotion, okay. Hold on, ready? This is, I had to, I had to see which, which, what I was gonna do about my bag. I'm gonna wear my little thing. This was the dumbest thing I ever bought. I swear to God. First of all, it's all stained up. It's way too tiny. I bought it for Disney, trying to be cute. <coughs> Anyways. Um, but it's gonna be clutch for right now, but it just wasn't worth the money. I got lotioned up. Let me start spraying myself down, cause you know, the spray ain't gonna stick. I don't know if y'all sm smelled all of these, but this is the orange one of their new line. It's the bikini season. Is that it? Do they all say? Is this? Do they say something different? Okay, yeah. This is the bikini season. I don't know. Nobody says this shit right here goes hard. It's the. It just is like the perfect outdoor smell. And I'm gonna mix it with the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. <laughs> Let me make sure because I didn't really spray it, but I was like, I think those would pair good together. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say combo 
lot. Ooh, and this is gonna stick. But that one is just not as sweet as I like it. So I'm just gonna sweet. Who ain't gonna smell good? Who not gonna smell good? I think that smells good. We're gonna let it dry down. Anyways, everyone's gonna be late because everybody's meeting up over at my house. And then we're gonna Uber from here and go there. Ugh, I wonder what club he's going to after. I need to stay out the clubs anyways, but I'm just curious. I wonder where he's gonna be. I'm looking for my little lawless lip. Forget the filler. I just organized all of my stuff. We're just gonna go straight on with this. Mm, let me mix it and stop playing, trying to play myself because my lips are gonna be cherry red and I do not like that. This is a little bit too strong for me, but no, uh, forget the filler, or no, the Too Faced lip injection. It's been making my lips so red, I don't like that. So I like dilute it down with a little bit of Summer Fridays or a different lip balm. <sighs> okay, we're gonna do hair la- Oh, Ooh, and I have the shimmer for that too. Where is it? The Tom Ford Chaudet de Blanc um, shimmer. You're gonna be shiny. because we're gonna be outside the only thing about it i didn't want to wear i have biker shorts on this is a my outfit on my outfit on my two-piece set i think i told you guys that my legs look good except i literally have this big cut that i don't know where it came from on my leg so i'm gonna get a band-aid and cover it up because it's so ugly and i'd rather have a band-aid then i have some like brown band-aids this stuff is so pretty the lighting in here is horrible because it's like around sunset. You better work, girl. I'm about to get it. There we go. There we go. Don't give up on me before we leave. All I can think about is that girl's video that I watched where she was like, wear bright, Ow. <laughs> wear bright colors. And I really want to wear, I have this in white, but I just don't want to wear white to an outdoor concert because I'm like, it's giving dirty it's getting it's gonna be dirty i'm gonna look dirty who wants to look dirty not me okay my lips are still on fire see how red they got but they will look a little bit plump when they come down so it's okay i'm gonna wash my hands and then lay the baby hairs and i'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner in my hair and then do my eyebrows and then that's literally it i think i'm gonna braid my hair while i'm waiting and then i need to do my other hand for my press on so that's gonna take me the longest amount of time. Read it. <sighs> the hair is starting to shed. I will say these are like the least, this is the least amount of shedding I've ever had with boho braids before. We're going in with Aussie Moisture. Not only does it smell delicious and it's inexpensive. Well, those were the, the main two points I was gonna make. <laughs> it's inexpensive and it smells really, really good. It smells so good. I'm also gonna put mousse on top of it though. So the, the curls are gonna get big and frizzy. Well, so I'm gonna hold them and tack a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I'm getting my shirt. Alright, I'm about to put the music on while I finish getting ready. Because y'all know I usually have something to talk about, but today I don't really have shit today. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> okay. Oof. Music makes me lose control. You are.
looking like we're getting something started today. Cause I body no play. Tell them girl levels to the glow. Murder on the dance floor, how you moving it, babe? I'm taking the bait. Woo. I just wanna dance with you all night, yeah. Me no care what happened tomorrow. Girl, you got me caught in the moment. Always close the shop. He's from Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Who's it? Watch it down. Thank you for your patience, you cannot rush perfection.